The thoughts, views, and opinions expressed by this podcast as well as its hosts are for entertainment purposes only. I repeat, it is not serious. It is not real. No one is exposing, revealing, indicting, or telling you anything about themselves. Also, we do not encourage you to try this at home. We are trained professionals who do not have your best interests at heart or our own. <laughs> Enjoy the show. I'm minding my business. You were not minding your okay, business. Okay, I wasn't. I wasn't. She was team staring building. directly she was at team my That's team laptop. building. <laughs> That's team building. This is not team building. Why? Her it, looking in my fucking laptop to steal the sauce and go to Lifetime. Uh, oh, that's hate. She's building that her team. Hate. Now, that's hate. <laughs> that, that is hate. That's Scott. team building. That sounds like solo building. No, she might be. That sounds like just Cheryl day. building. Uh, Ain't nobody but Cheryl. Cheryl <laughs> yeah. building. Big her. Cheryl. Big building. The fuck? Yo, oh, man. I was trying to see what you were going to play. Why? I was trying to guess. Are you into it? Are you into that? Yeah. Are you into like, damn, what's it, what's, what's yeah, it going to start with? Yeah, yeah. For real, you fucking yeah, with me. Because you set the tone. <laughs> So I kind of like to, you know, gauge where you're at. Mm. Oh, for real? Yeah. <laughs> Look at me hug. Oh, oh. That's a nut. Hug. That made me feel good. Mm. I can hear it in the lawsuit. You heard it? I heard it. You heard it, right? You heard it? You fucking with me? Give me a hug. <laughs> Yo, that made me feel good. Yeah. Oh, oh that man. shit read back. When that reads. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, why am I Your so Honor, dumb, yo? I didn't have a choice. You put <laughs> me on a spot. He said he didn't ask for the hug. Yo, he said, "Give me a hug. Nice. Give oh. it to me." That's my boss saying it, oh, so man. I had to do it. I'm starting with a little sh. Uh, yeah, for <laughs> <laughs> oh, a little bit. Of, all right. All right. Sometimes you got to put the salt and pepper in the pan before the food get in there. You're right. <laughs> you know? I don't do. I don't do that. A little olive oil is enough for me. <laughs> Throw it a little bit in there. Crazy. Y'all want y'all to know I did. There are plenty of black women for me to berate today, but I will not. Okay. Hmm. And a Dominican one. I think she's Dominican. I forgot now. I've been so long. <sighs> but I will not. I do not think that's attractive when men do that. I don't. Yo, I see it in your face too. <laughs> I can hear him. I don't know. These some extra headphones. <laughs> Anytime I see Yo. a man online oh, man. totally giving a, a, a girl what she asked for. A thrashing. Or what she didn't ask for. I don't like it. It don't sit well in my soul and my spirit. So I want to announce that for anybody that's here to hear me speak negatively about black women. It will not be today. It will not be today. And boy, I had a loose leaf full of things <laughs> to come in here and say, but I won't. It's not part of maturing. And that's part of being a man. It's in the DNA of being a man. Sometimes women are trying to get you to say something. It's like the, uh, the bill people on the phone, like they're trying to get you to curse. <laughs> Go ahead and curse, nigga. Go ahead and say curse. So I can bang it on your ass. <laughs> yeah, no, you can't do it. So when they put you in that predicament, you still got to be a man. And I wouldn't mm -hmm. even violate the couch that me and Mel Forge. Come on, man. Come on, man. The gross. Not in 2024. Yeah, that's... Not in 2024. Not this week of 2024. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not this week. <laughs> No, any week oh, okay, of bad. 2024, oh, dear, dear friend. I want to know what I missed. <laughs> you ain't missed nothing. You ain't missed a goddamn thing. For you to get back in your writing pad, <laughs> you win your book of rhymes. There's mm. one of them. <laughs> oh, it hurts. When it hurts so bad. I see you adjusting shit over there. <laughs> that's what he's doing. He's fucking with shit for he's no reason. He's like, yo, Mike ain't moved at all. He's still adjusting. Nigga, the mic is good. He's picking shit off the side of the laptop that ain't even there. Nah, it was up there. The mic can't get no tighter, yo. Oh, man. All right. This guy. Hey, why I'm low? What's going on? What was up over here? That oh, that's me. Okay. Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <sighs> See? She nice. learning. See? Yeah. Team building. Right there. Right there. Ooh, he is. Come on, come on, come on. You good, big dog? Just wow. breathe in through your nose and out through yes, your mouth. Yes, I'm happy. Four counts. Right. I'm happy that we have a week of Peaceful no beef. pod. Peaceful pod. I am so happy about that. Yeah. Peace. Pod. I'm so happy. And, oh. no, let me stay here. I am so happy there's no beef. Yeah, come on. Let's do it. Oh. <laughs> Oh, my heart started beating fast up until midnight. Same. Then when it was just a nice, normal release schedule. Nice R&B vibes. Yeah. 
Yeah, man. Vibe I'm about to try me three. Out. I said, oh, okay. This yeah, is what uh-huh. I thought it was yeah. going to be. Yeah. All right. I'm, <laughs> all right. Yep. I'm tired of all that rap beef. Yeah, yeah. Sick of it. Because then I'm pressured to perform. And no. <laughs> I just want to <laughs> come in here. Hang out with the bros. Yeah, and sis. that's Show it. some chill shit. And man. every time I think I'm coming in here killing shit, I go home, open my phone, and read why I'm done coming in here killing shit. I hate all of y'all. I hate every last one of y'all. Oh, some of the takes I've heard. It's exhaustive. Some of the takes, but it hurts my soul. It hurts my soul. Joe don't have no damn teeth. <laughs> Joe got his teeth from Axe. <laughs> got your teeth from Axe, huh? Joe got his teeth from <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Are y'all disrespecting my whole existence? Like, am I just chopped liver? Yes. That's what they assume. That's where I'm getting the tea from? Yeah. When I come to try to deliver the tea to y'all, then y'all bash me over the tea? And I got more tea today. Guess what? Not serving it up. <laughs> Not serving it up. The streets talk. And I know people in the streets. It That's had, it. They shed some tea for I me. Ain't gotta know. I don't have to be an insider to none of these people involved. What the fuck is wrong with y'all out there? Oh, the no. streets call my phone. Yeah, if I got tea, I know you got tea. What are they saying out there? You got tea? Yeah. yeah. A little something. He got tea. He came I in, know you he got came tea. in with tea. You gonna spill it? Look at you now. I'm you got the lid of the cup. You I got now. the cup. Yeah, you got the Stanley. <laughs> <laughs> no tea spit out of here, doggy. I got tea. I believe you. Mm-hmm. My tea kind of told me it wasn't going to happen last night. I don't care no more. I don't care until I hear something. That was quick. No, no, no. I'm just, until I hear <laughs> something. So phony. No, I'm just tired of the speculate. Like, dog, if you if you want us to hear it, put it out. Until then, I don't give a fuck. I don't all this guest game, who doing what. I don't care. Let me hear. Ice, but is nah, like, Ice is such a fan. Nah, so Ice is a, a fan. Fuck, Some of the tea makes it. Fan it gives feelings, you clarity, they though. come, go up, yeah. down. Yeah. Ice, there's a such thing as slow walking the dog. Mm-hmm. It is. I believe you. It's a real thing. I'm aware of it. Especially in a chess match like this. Absolutely. <clears throat> so I know we are impatient fans. And I know we heard a lot, slow build up, but you got to let these niggas slow walk the dog. I thought someone was just going to open the back door this weekend, but no, it didn't no. happen. Pause. You can't. Pause. 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 Oh, that was crazy. Call that. White boy that Buffalo. Was <laughs> I was like, I was like, I'm bad, I'm bad. Buffalo Bill back at it again. <laughs> <laughs> we talking about rap beef parts. <laughs> but no, Joe, that's what I'm saying. I'm well aware of that. I'm just saying y'all can do it. I'm checked out until there's some action. That's all. <laughs> I know y'all are slow walking and chess matching and all of that. Y'all do that. I'm not watching for that no more until I see some action. Somebody make a move. Now I'm back. In, now I care again. Until then, I'm fine. All of this, who's going to do what? This one's whispering and word is getting out about this and word is getting... I don't care no more until I hear something. Oh, I've been having way more fun in my brain than you. If that's where you're at, you're stopping yeah. some of the fun. I'm in my head flipping all the ways that... Vibes and cartel are going to intermingle. <laughs> what? What? Vibes? All of these niggas and cartel got a car. Oh, my God. It's going to be a bloodbath when it happens. But not for you, big dog. We're going to wait for you. We're going to wait for you. I might have to take a longer bath. You know, Dre got to take a long bath before beef. <laughs> some palm olive in that shit. Some, some bubbles, <laughs> nigga. You know Dre taking a bubble bath <laughs> with some champagne. That's Rev run time, nigga. <laughs> Roses uh, and all that. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all ever took a bathtub uh, with bro- rose petals? No. I mean, uh, a bath with rose petals? No. Mm-mm. Yes. But, you know. Well, I'm not against it. It's just never popped up. Why y'all never did that? Y'all wasn't cute like that? I guess not. Yeah. I guess you ever took a bath with your girl with rose petals? and I am six foot five. <laughs> big bathtubs. What's wrong with these people? None of mine. There's lakes. No. <laughs> Stupid. Put some roses yeah, in the lake. You gotta hype shame us. <laughs> Nigga, you ain't got a fucking koi pond with it and all that shit? <laughs> I don't. No, just a regular bathtub. Yeah, nigga, go jump in the river. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Throw a couple leaves in there. Y'all ain't never did the rose petals for your girl and then jumped in there with her? No, I didn't jump in there with her. No. Did you bathe her? 
Yeah, Yo, they such men. Look, <laughs> look at their face. Like, <laughs> look at their face. Right, right. Why y'all such men? I, I didn't, it's nothing wrong. Just with that. chill out. It's flash. Loosen up your show. Yeah. That's why. yeah. I'm not saying there's nothing wrong. I just never did. I can't it. believe you never did that. I never did. That. Ice is such a Mr. Lover Lover. I can't believe that he never did that. <laughs> I'm not in there. And Bart's been married the longest. So <laughs> why you never did that? Your, your wife ain't but fucking four foot five. Yeah. You ain't got to get in there and wipe the baby down. <laughs> I did. Maybe I'm I've, fucking I've, Ralph Tresman then. No, I've, I've bathed them. I just haven't put rose petals in the water. Yeah, how many Valentine's Day you had to go right there to the gas station and you got some money and went to the rose store? But, you know what I mean? <laughs> Sometimes the supermarket. <laughs> 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 Nigga, I pull this trick out. How old I miss? <laughs> 43? <laughs> Nigga, that is at least eight, at eight, least 18. That oh, shit. <laughs> of the rose the petal trick? Party. Nigga, I'm light skin. <laughs> and did. so are you. Mm-hmm. I don't, I'm so lost. You pick and choose when to get light skin. <laughs> I guess. I, I, I'll rock with you there. I got you, buddy. Damn, nigga did the The rose. first time I ever had like rose, the rose petal thing was, I was I think I was like Stun on 17. Niggas. Stun on them M4. And my boyfriend was like 18. Yes. Yeah. Don't make no clear that up. Clear that up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now that nigga was 27. That's cool though. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> One of them little Mounties. Where y'all was at? Where y'all was at? Where you did that? Toronto. In Toronto. No, I mean, yeah. where was the bathtub? Oh, Toronto. My house. Nope. 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 We got a great show for yeah. y'all today, boy. I promise we got a show for y'all today, man. I'm not playing with Mel. We had, had four I'm brothers. Jump. Hey. Look at his face. <laughs> I don't understand how. We'll get to it. We'll get to it. We'll get to it. We're pod. We're pod. All right. Brief applause. Uh-huh. <laughs> Quick. <Yeah>. Drops. <laughs> Me, my son, <laughs> parts. 716. Yeah, yeah. Prize picks. Prize picks. Yeah. 716? Yeah. Uh, Mel, 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 Mel. Uh, welcome to episode 716 of the Joe Budden Podcast, brought to you by Fuel by, presented by Prize Picks. I am your Lovely host Joe Budden, man. I'm here with y'all today. Y'all been fucking serving me up this week, but I'm still here. Really? <laughs> oh, please. Yes. Yes. You we, must have been busy this without week. Without a doubt. Ooh. I'm busy every week. Okay. Well, maybe, well, maybe. Oh. You, you didn't catch a lot. There's a lot oh, nah. Of, I don't, I don't really be on social media like that. Oh, okay. okay. He be in real life media. Yeah. yeah. Huh? Mm. You got to get up mm. with him in real life. That's true. That's true. That's true. If you can. Yeah. I mean, it's hard to keep up. Shit. Everybody can. I know. Uh, I'm Joe Budden. <laughs> I'm Joe Budden. Hey, Joe. Uh, b- oh, you still going. <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. Uh, Big Mel Ford is in the building. Hey, hey, uh, Flip, our brother's here with us in spirit, exercising his contractual rights. <laughs> uh, Ish is here. Big Library. Freeze is here. None other than Big Ice himself. The one, the only. Parks is here. Corey yep. is here. Poe is here. Erickson is here. I'm sure someone is here remote. And most importantly, all of you guys are here. How's everybody doing? Feeling? I think I asked y'all that already. Yeah, but amazing. Yeah. Feeling great. Let's get ish to it, man. Good day, yeah, come sir. on, let's get right to it. Yeah, I ain't fuck got it. time mm-hmm. for this. Fuck it. It's, yeah. it's rainy, let's windy. Come on, let's yeah, just yeah. let's just go. Perfect mm-hmm. vibes for the music that dropped last oh, night. Oh my yeah, god! Is. We still don't trust you. Mm-hmm. The double album dropped, and we're gonna go right to ish. I'm what? sorry, because y'all were in pre-production. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, yeah. All I heard from ish is that one little unfortunately that he just gave us. So I can't wait to hear. Where that comes from? I mean, I, when I cut the album on, I wanted to listen to it from the start. Sure. You read it? <laughs> no, I didn't even read <laughs> it. Rap Genie? Yeah. Skip the Genie? <clears throat> Everybody had, you know, been uh, shooting in social media, all the other shit. Mm. I woke up mad, DM, yo, you got to listen to Hunt for Red October. I thought you, you didn't go on social media. I don't. I mean, uh, I like that to be known that somebody was roasting them all week. Uh, like, that ain't my thing. But so, you was on there to... This morning. So, yeah, yo, you got to go listen to this song, listen to this song. I'm like, eh. Okay, I, I started at track one. Uh huh. I'm waiting for the fire. Uh, I, I got really? lullaby to sleep. Well, it I, was an R and B album. Very, I want to start off by saying that R&B playing copy. this album first thing in the morning is not really the appropriate time to play this album. In my opinion, this is nighttime vibes. Yes, mm. I agree. This is West Side Highway, seven degree. Uh huh. That yeah. Metro Boomin is amazing. The production Woo. was fire. He's amazing. Don't, mm-hmm. don't, don't. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> You'll get your turn. No, that, <laughs> yo, he's. Yeah, he's, he's that. He's that, yeah. But I, it, as a rap album, to oh, me, it was it's not, under, it's not it was a rap un- album. I know. Yeah. It was underwhelming, and that's what I was looking for. Oh. I thought it was going to be a rap album, and it was Luther. You're, you're a little new to the future I was going to ask base. you, yeah. ha- have you heard the Hendrix album that he put out? Probably not. 
probably heard the songs. The last time, the have you heard Evil? I don't be knowing the name. You know this. In 2017, I don't know the name of all the projects, or I won't know the names of the song. When I used to start playing some shit, I could quote that shit forwards and backwards, but I won't know that that's off of this project or that project. I think it was 2017. He dropped two albums within a month or so, or no, a couple back, weeks, back or whatever. Back. Two weeks. Two weeks. Whatever it was. One week apart. Close together. And one was a trappy hip hop kind of album, and one was lullabies, R and B. No, it's not. Gotcha. Okay. I wouldn't quite <laughs> qualify. This is lullabies, but okay, same, similar concept. So it wasn't surprising. This, he's done this blueprint before. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. I mean to say. Okay. And to a lot of people, myself included, the last time he did this with the one rap album, which was Future, and then the R and B ish album, which was Hendrix. That Hendrix album is. Consider some of his best work. Yeah, me included too. I'm, I'm included. There's a in lot. That yeah, like that <laughs> I'm is included it. in that. If it's well. not one, it's two. Yeah, gotcha. Have you heard uh, this song before? This is. Rihanna's I mean, it's just album. a testament just, to to, what to his pen. No, it's nice. And that's exactly why I retired from music. Right there, I was never that creative. <laughs> I could to... never go in the booth and say, "Take this." <laughs> and then what he did after that? That nigga is ill. He sure heard this, right? So you like R&B Future? <laughs> what I'm telling you is, I was expecting an extension of the last two weeks. All right, ago. so you set yourself up for failure. Yeah. So, yeah. but I, and when I cut it on, I'm thinking I'm about to get into the. Hey, you timed it wrong. Doing that first thing in the morning. This is not the time for that. Uh, all right, but I, th- I don't, I don't necessarily agree with that. Yeah. It's one. This ain't bad. First thing in the morning. Oh, okay. I mean, but we, I told y'all on the. When we I played about it first. It I played it first thing in the morning. Mm. The yeah, whole morning. I saved the rap section for the first thing in the morning. Oh, please. Oh, no, that no. Section. I want to wake up with shit. I threw that CD out my window. Well, yeah, I'll get to that later. But, but yeah, like R and B future is him. I'm not, him. What does anybody here that's not named Ish think of this project? I think this was. Okay, all right. Let me give you two. There's two parts to this. One. I kind of went in the same way you did. Pause. All right, we on. Go hold on. on, hold on. Listen, listen. Get your shit off. I went there expecting, you know, it's we still don't trust you. Mm-hmm. All mm-hmm. of the rollout shit. So I'm expecting more of the last project. Even I'm when you lo- saw the track list? I didn't see the track list. Got it. Never saw the track list. Okay. Um, first thing I saw was, oh shit, it's a double. That was literally the first thing I said. Wait, it's a double? I saw 18 and then seven. I said, Okay. Um, I'm thinking this is going to be more, you know, this and all of that type of stuff. So once I got to track three, I said, all right, I was right. This is basically the Hendrix album. Cool. But I'm listening to it with ears looking for some, some sass, some, shots. some smoke, mm-hmm. some of that in there. <laughs> it's just keeping it a buck. So I didn't appreciate, first listen, I'm, you know, late at night, first listen, I didn't appreciate it the way I normally would. Oh, I was in my bag. But then once I went this morning and cut it back on, and now I'm not thinking about that, because like I said, I'm over it. Okay, Drake didn't drop, he didn't, there's no more shooting like that. I mean, it's some little bullshit in there, uh-huh. but it ain't what we expected. Now I'm running it, oh yeah, this is right back on there, up under Hendrix, that that vibe, now I'm good. Metro That's Blue, why I said I could hear it in the morning. Metro Boom put on a motherfucking master class. Clinic, he did. Mm-hmm. Woo! Woo-wee. Incredible. The shit that Incredible. he went and pulled old shit, I would have never thought to do that and twist it and spin it. He showed his ass. Yeah, he did. The synth work, the drums. Showed like, his ass. He really went crazy, yeah, crazy. Fine. Tap into that 80s synth pop yeah. uh, kind of Euro vibe. Woo. I, I was thoroughly impressed. And it was perfect for me at the end of the day. I was like, oh, shit. Okay, I can chill out and just smoke Roll and a doobie. chill out. <laughs> Put the Cabernet up. For me, it was another one of those nights. Staring at the phone, refreshing <laughs> since 6 p.m. Mm-hmm. Cool, and I slowed down closer to midnight, but I made a mental note and said I do have to be outside at midnight. I don't mm-hmm. want to be in bed when this comes yeah. out. I need to be prepared for whatever energy is coming my way. I don't give a fuck if I'm in the car. Right. I need to be out. So I was indeed in the car, track one, <laughs> riding up 34th Street, empty, Manhattan clear. Mm. What a vibe. <laughs> oh my god! By the time I got, I saw the track list. I know that shit was nice okay. in the Maybach. Boy. Oh my Woo. lord! Yeah. I might take a drive this weekend just to listen to this shit on the. And road I was at night. in the Maybach. Yeah. And I was in the backseat of my car for the first time in like since I had the car. 
Oh, yeah. oh, yeah, because you usually My yeah. driver's yeah. windshield was fucked up. They gave him a loaner. He pulled that shit up. I was like, nigga. <laughs> 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 yeah. hey, them, hey, my loner days, the days of them disrespecting me with the loaner are over. <laughs> we did. We could talk about it if you they want. Remember, remember we did that shit before? But you can't we, get we, no we, better we, loaner than that. Month. I don't yeah. give a fuck <laughs> what you're talking about, Ish. No, I'm saying he can't get a better loaner. I don't care. So what are they supposed to give him? No, 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 no. I'm not saying they did something wrong. I'm uh, saying my days of having to deal with the frustrations of whatever loner is available gotcha. is over. Because usually when you get a loner, they try to give you the up. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Like if you got a three series, they oh, give yeah, you the five. Yeah, to try you got a five, like... they give you the seven to entice you to yeah, buy it. They give you the exactly. car that they're trying to sell. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but if you at the top, nigga, what they going to give you? They gave him some Escalade. i never seen some two-door yeah. CVX <laughs> coupe Escalade. I'm like, man, if you don't, where is my Maybach? <laughs> nigga, <laughs> just the wife Khalid. Last time we had that shit, yeah. the wife Khalid was fucked up. He showed up in the little shit. Yeah. The XT6. Yeah. It was nah. like, hey, yo, nah, nah. Now nah, nah. Nah, park that big dog, we just going off. So, so I was in the backseat of my car listening to this. That's what he's supposed to listen to it. And yeah, it was have. it was it was right. I'd have it was right. Nice I saw, Cabernet back there. Yo, it was nice back there. <laughs> I saw the track no list. I knew it was an R and B album. By the time I got to track three, I said, "Oh, they are bugging out. Mm. They are absolutely bugging out." I agree with Parks. Metro just continues to show his ass. It's like he's in his own chess game. Yeah, he went crazy. it's like he's in his own chess game against somebody that I do not know. I saw Mike Dean is on like four of the songs. I'm not surprised. I'm curious to see if there's any more because the the synth work is fucking fantastic. And not to say that Metro can't do it, but like that shit is elite synth playing keyboard. Give me a bad work. Marks. Yeah, sorry. Tell, tell, he's, <laughs> not, not, no. tell these things about that, that synth is, work. Synth. That shit is yeah, amazing. Synth. That shit is amazing. His his sample choice, even all of that. Yeah, how he flipped the samples. Oh that shit was crazy. That Lord. soul shit. Not soul. It's like a I don't know what that is. That sample flip towards the end of the album. I forgot the song was even called. Beat it. Beat it. Yeah. Beat You're it. Talking beat about it. beat it. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're talking about beat it. That shit. Woo. Anyway, so, um, so, you know. it's it's kind of. And I want to tell y'all, I love if you if you if if I haven't made this clear, I love R and B future more than rap future. That's why I'm a little surprised that it's just take. Because if you are R and B head, you know when he walk in that booth and say I'm not rapping. That's when heat is the coming. Fire is coming. That's but when the real heat. is I'm coming. I'm not surprised that Ish take because what Ish knows future for is. When March Madness, nah, I know, turn up I know the, the, I know the like, other shit too. Throw it again. I'm and thinking March that March Madness is R and B. Yes, it is. Sort of, nah. sort of. March kinda. Madness is an R and B. It's record. more melodic than rapping, but it's melodic. still it's I'm still up tempo and yeah, aggressive. Yeah, it's not slow singing. Future. We made that aggressive, yo. I remember the first time I heard March Madness. We was on tour somewhere, and Ice was driving, or Ice had the aux. <laughs> And that shit came on. Say, yo, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> yo, we was at a hold on the side of a hotel somewhere, mm-hmm. waiting for maybe Parks or somebody. Uh, Man, that shit. Came, dude, I said, yo, what is this? <laughs> but I wasn't saying that on some rap hype shit. Like these melodies in the beat. Fuck March Madness right now. Right, 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 right. Yeah. This Back right here. This. Right when you thought that you've heard this flipped all the ways that it could possibly he be did something flipped. different. You should be tired of this flip by now. Oh, this is the one right here. whoa. Yeah. Whoa! Keep it on the down low. What? <laughs> well, come on, ish, ish. Get this old man shit out of here. This is not old man, my nigga. Don't yell at me. 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 I'm not yelling don't at yell at me. I was just asking. Get this 50 year old you shit the fuck out of here, you nigga. Guys, this shit right here. Ish. Okay. You. Is that what it is, Mel? We old? I, I'm starting to believe maybe okay. it, it You don't like this either, Mel? No. Go ahead. Keep going. Why do I have to? <laughs> it only take the first six seconds to know what's going. You know, you you know what's going on here. Y'all old Ooh. as hell. Get it. Go to Starbucks. <laughs> <laughs> I keep saying on the music talks, just go to Starbucks, yo. Oh, come Man. on. Yo, old niggas, tell me what the fuck is on y'all brain. What is not to like? Tell about me this? what the fifty-year-old version. Of, what? What? Yeah. What, what are your old decaying ears <laughs> saying to you guys? I like this. I like this song. Okay. So. I like this song. I loved, loved, loved the title track. We still don't trust you. I loved that. Okay. I when I when I started it and I heard, I was like, oh, okay, this might actually be for me. This shit is. Oh, yeah, this is your bag. Th- this is so this is, my bag. Yeah, this is your bag. That's her bag. Like weirdo yeah. shit. That's her bag. It's weirdo no, shit. No, the 80s shit. I'm fucking with you. Yeah. The 80s shit. This is my bag, too. Yeah. No, it's just- Hey. 
you a bad little freak. You was in all those videos. I know you was a freak. You ain't get so far in video hey, without being a freak. You was a little fast, little freak. Fast freak. You could have been future. You ain't get all right. those connects without being a Toronto freak. You was a freak. Oh, shit. You was a little Toronto freak. I promise you a freak. I was expecting the Joe Budden metal diss track in the future time. Right? To the right? Oh, shit. Wait, they gonna clip no, that no, up no, too. No, 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 please don't, please they don't, don't. Oh, please man. don't, please don't. And that, and that's something. That's not S H. It's something. It's something. That's something. It's something. It's something. I like that song. Um, all, all for myself. I like that. Okay. Red that's leather was cool. Right. Um, I mean, it was cool. You know, I did like red leather. I didn't need the cold verse. I really yeah. like. I, I thought I cold. I, I really enjoyed cold. That sounded coldish to me. Boy, Cole, what you have done to yourself in the span of a few weeks is crazy to yeah. me. Yeah. Ain't nobody trying to hear that, J. Cole. It's Friday. What's, what's the tweet? <laughs> Ain't nobody trying to hear It's Friday. Nobody trying to hear no J. Cole. No. It's bad. Like, I was starting to bring it back. I was this close to bringing it back. I thought yeah. you were going to bring it back. I thought. <laughs> and I'm not bad. saying that Cole is wrong for any decision that he's made thus far. Like, I want to be clear. I'm not mad at the apology. Even though I am disappointed, mm -hmm. different word. Yeah, yeah, I'm not. I'm not angry down. at it. I understand it. Uh, I mean, it goes back to my original point. None of these niggas are friends, and at some point, you have to pick a side. Cole appearing on on this project after the last project, after the apology, after what went on, just the uh, just the sound of his voice on this shit is like it's, oh, it's crazy. But crazy. this is, I'm pretty sure, old. This is a verse. Yeah. Like, this has been done so, for a so, while. Yeah, what, what does that so mean? Gonna tell them, don't Dog, we what just, we just, mean? We just talked about the rapper that uh, had the Drake feature that was supposed to have been coming out, and it uh, was after the Like That record. Everybody yeah. want to hear from Drake? Oh, you know what? Yeah, I think that was fake. We're not putting that out. I think that was fake. What do you mean? I think that rapper was a fake rapper. No. Yeah? Not a fake rapper. So let me ask you. I, I, I don't know. I'm asking for clarity. So J. Cole had the power to say, yo, don't put that out? He could have. Uh, but I also think he that wouldn't he, have. He, I think that he is probably like, let me get something out there to see what's up. Let me do a temperature check a little bit. Let me try to clear my shit up a little bit. Don't mm. clear this. He but did you, his temp check at the bash show. But you don't think this was done you prior should, to? Yes, yes. yes. But he could have. So stopped it. what? That yeah. makes it worse. That don't help to me. You could. I you can stop know, it. Yeah, I didn't know you had he's got enough juice that. to gotcha. be like, nah, take, cut that off. Oh, okay. Yeah, all of this playing both sides, shit. Chummy chum with everybody. I tell you, I don't never trust niggas that's just fly with everybody, yo. If you fly with everybody, then you never made a decision that, that made somebody angry. <laughs> this is, I didn't like it. I like the song and I like the verse and I like his I like feature. His and I, like, I like all that. Like the optics and time are definitely His appearance on this, for me, was, was, it added to the disappointment that I already And took. that song was long. I didn't need the cool verse. I didn't, that, that was my thing. Yeah. I don't need it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't need it. Let me tell you something. What do y'all think about the little fan conspiracy theory, whatever that's running around that Cole's playing, playing into the fall off, doing all of this, where it looks like I he's kind of he's kind of like it. I don't want to say tarnishing, but he's doing all these things that's not really Cole esque. I can see it. Hey, you fans, so make up whatever off. you need to make up to feel better about the decisions that your favorite rapper made. I can see it, but I don't think it's flyest. But I can I see it. Yeah, even if I submit to that, it's, it's not dope. So you're saying he's falling off intentionally. Yeah, that's a theory. That's a that's, that's a, a theory, theory that's theory. running around yeah. right now. Like in order to head towards retirement, kind of thing. It, it, it's just to have you think. It's hard like, imitating life. Like, yeah, the album's oh. called "The Fall Off." Let me fall mm -hmm. off, and then I come back on this album and really smack y'all up, upside the head. Mm -hmm. Show y'all didn't really fall off. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Got it. Listen, it's just a fan theory. Maybe. I can I can believe it. this is the one. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, Mel. Ish. Yes. Nothing. Y'all don't fuck with this one either. No, I do. Hot, this is, this hot is what I'm saying. Apple cider. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, the medicine music, ball. The musical piece, the music, like you can't deny the track. You can't deny what he did musically. Mm -hmm. I just don't. Yeah, it ain't. It ain't do it for me. Yeah, yeah. like the production, like it's, I was you, saying, it's undeniable. Was incredible. It's incredible. But like when I hear like like, like top tier, uh -huh. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but, I'm with you. Mm, 
That's enough for me a lot of times. I but know. I also and, think and that that's, future. And that's what I could tell. I could tell. I knew you was going to. I'm like a music it. first guy at when, all times. And when I walked in, I said, yo, Metro Boomin went absolutely nuts. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But that album didn't do it for me. Yeah. Metro yeah. Boomin yeah. and Future went nuts. I was just going to say, y'all don't think Future went nuts? I think he went nuts. They both went absolutely that was nuts. A, on that song, Future went nuts? Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah, not to me. Okay. Respectfully. Yeah, you've never tried yeah. to write to one of these. <laughs> you right. <laughs> the second that you ever try to sit down and write to some amazing shit that the producer did. Yeah, it's time to do your job now. How's this gonna sound when you come out? We got that the music is fire. He showed his ass all over this shit he did. and dropped two of the better albums that have dropped this year. We early in the year, but, mm -hmm. but he can go back to Zero Dark Thirty now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he ain't gotta do nothing else. He don't have to do he nothing, nothing else. else. He can take a good year or two off if he wants to. He don't have to do a damn thing. I would like him to announce a tour or something, but other, musically, you don't gotta do nothing else. He ain't gonna tour. You, I know. He ain't going to tour. You don't think so? No, he I just, don't. He, I think they're going to tour just together. Tour. Maybe. When's the last time Future played in New York? Last year. With who? One, I mean, y'all talk. And why wasn't I there? <laughs> why didn't I hear about that? Because he was sleeping. If Future's in New York, I want to go. Same. Nigga, that's hip-hop version of Romeo Santos to me in, in New York. <laughs> I already know what, that, what that's about to look like. Uh -huh. And I want to hear the Beat It remix with Post Malone or Chris Brown or mm. somebody. This, this, this shit on this beat. All right, let me cut this off. I'm dick riding. He's, she, she was on the whippets. I'm, I'm he was riding. bugging. He on there talking about how that pussy was tasting. Oh, my God, Future Vandross. <clears throat> I love this Ish, shit. You know I don't go to you for nothing music, so you ain't got to look at me with your pretty eyes, nigga. <laughs> I don't care. You told you gave you, we gave your opinion on the platform. Yeah, you're exaggerating. I'm exaggerating. On what? My pussy tastes like Casa Azul. That's what I... <laughs> Yo, y'all yo, be fronting, yo. Why? When y'all like a nigga, y'all like anything that they do. You saying that to me? And, that like, like a nigga and me and Parks. Like, me, yeah. you, and Parks, he's saying that. We, oh, we, got shit. We, we got attacked by every fan base in the last yeah, two weeks. Crazy. Yeah, yeah, this is craziness that he's saying. Yeah. He's saying something fly on that song? All of this is Everything fly. Everything is fly. Yes, every word of fly. this shit is fly. Okay. It, it ain't lyrical miracle. It ain't like deep metaphors or nothing like that. But it's, it's a vibe, it's, man. It's no yeah. like future, r and future. It's I like, like future. Kendrick. Don't do that. Don't I said oh, no. r and future. Look at him trying to print and... You played this. I like Future. Hold, hold on. Since you brought this up, what, what's just, the other album you've been listening to? That tell us what you thought. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> please, please. Joe, Joe don't know. Disgrace the platform. Joe don't know. Come on, Joe don't know. Let's hear it. He, so, went to, so, yeah, yeah, he went to do some no, homework. Yeah, he went to do some homework. No, I'm just trying to see where the. Come on, because then I want to get off of Ish and Mel. Yeah, yeah okay, yeah, but yeah, we, we, we got to move forward. No, please. I started listening to Good Kid, Mad City. Right, I want to go give it a real, un, uh, an objective. I'm at song four or five. I don't see what. It's like caca. No, it's not caca. <laughs> I just don't see like, what the world's going crazy over. I get that. It's cool. That's peace. I'm gonna keep going. I don't get it, but I'll come back <laughs> and, and, and give uh, a okay, review. Okay, so now parks yeah, and ice. Like, yeah. Why do y'all keep asking? <laughs> he came in music. and said that. Don't <laughs> ask him nothing. He walked music. in and was like, oh, yeah, I was doing my own work. two niggas. <laughs> Nobody is. Oh, my God. I couldn't Come believe it. Can we yeah, get yeah, back we'll, to future, let's man? Let's get back to future, man. I will say that the last, uh, the second disc, the last seven, I didn't need those. I, I didn't care about that last That felt seven. like the deluxe to that's, that's what volume I one. Mm -hmm. I'm cool. It's kind of the same way with the Beyonce records where she put the dance records at the end of the album. You were in this vibe. You took me out of the vibe. For what reason? I don't really know. Stick to your guns. Give me this 80s synth pop record and let me just vibe with that. Yeah, keep all that rap shit to the rap shit. Yeah. Like, I do like that he made R&B me out. Yeah, I guess that's something. Disc. You know what, I mean? what disc? Yeah. I know. What disc? Well, he <laughs> separated our it. phones. I, I'm cool with that. <laughs> yeah. It, it's showing you that this is something different. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I'll appreciate that much in the streaming era. Do we care about ASAP Rocky uh, uh, on this shit? No. And what he said? No. No. I like ASAP Rocky, but I didn't need this. ASAP Rocky, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Let me be honest with you. Why? Every, what, what'd he every, say? I did this in every, my brain. I did this in my brain already, so this is gonna be interesting to you all do it. <laughs> Everything that he said, like you, you, you can't get none of that off. It all apply to you. Yeah, like I don't Everything see. you said. You, you what you said about you hit his baby whatever. Uh-huh. He hit your choice. What you talking Maybe. about? Maybe you said yeah. no, you what? Nigga, what? It's, it's levels to baby moms. 
So? It's levels to baby mom. What you saying is, I popped yours. I, I popped yours too. I disagree with what you're saying. If yours is Rihanna, then it's different. Why? Because that's Rihanna. I'm lost. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, yo, 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 okay. One we're not talking about it. We're not Rihanna. We're not talking about it. Y'all, and, fuck I, and I don't want to talk but, about people. Yeah, I don't want to. Either. Either. I don't yeah, want so to. Leslie, we had this conversation. We keep moving though. Yeah, the we other keep, thing he said about moving. your last shit came out and and what he said. Uh, it came. It and came went. and went. Nigga, yours ain't come. Pause. <laughs> like you can't. You can't talk to this man. The things you saying, like say it to somebody else. You can't really get that off on him. I like ASAP Rocky. I did not I, need to hear ASAP Rocky battle bars this me week. Me neither. At all. <laughs> like, I'm cool. I get it. Yeah, and you know you, what really happened? They was She was annoyed from the Drake album shit. Go get him. Go. It's like when you're, right out when you're at the bar, <laughs> so yo, those guys Since over there are talking shit about me, babe. <laughs> Go fuck them up for oh, me. <laughs> oh, boy. That was the Will Smith slap? Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all. Attempt. Attempt, yeah. Bad you're attempt. talking artistically. You're talking about what ASAP had to say on the song. Yeah. Right? Yes. But what about real life? Oh, nah, you can have a problem in real life because of what he's what he did on this record. You yeah, can have a problem. Definitely. You can absolutely have a problem. Absolutely. Thousand you disrespecting the mother of my children, my wife. I'm long before then. I'm, I'm just saying, you're, you're, you're disrespecting. Oh, you're before then? I'm long before then. I don't care about none of that. I'm long before then. If, we, if Rihanna is Drake's dream girl. Mm -hmm. And I have your dream girl. And y'all dated. Mm-hmm. Y'all had whatever y'all had. And then we saw the moment that it was a cold cutoff. Mm -hmm. And we saw him chasing. Mm -hmm. And we saw her dubbing the kiss on stage. Mm -hmm. We saw all of that with our own eyes. Mm -hmm. And then the nigga that has been cold musically for eons. And that's normally Drake's where he get his shit off. Hey, you, you fucking with a nigga that do the same thing I do, but he ain't as hot as me. He ain't right. as up as me. He ain't as... And then this nigga just pop up and take your dream girl. Yeah. I feel like uh, uh, this is off the top of the head. I, I feel like Cassie's husband is gonna always have something to say to Puff. I'm not talking about the allegations and all that shit. Me I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm just talking about. I disagree. That's your. That's that's her to you, and me, Mister Nobody Man, came and took her from you. I don't give a fuck if I don't have nowhere near the money that you got. I can say something to you anytime I see you in the club. Now let's put that to the side for a minute. Let's tiptoe around the other rumors between Drake and ASAP and that that mm -hmm. I'm, I will, won't speak about. Man, y'all help me down because y'all bleeped me last time. Yeah, come on, come yeah. on, man. We're so here for you. Appreciate We're here it. for you. Uh, that rumor, if that rumor, if y'all out there, if you know, you know, if that one is true, then anytime I see you, I could talk. Anytime I see you, I could talk. I don't give a fuck if I never made a slap song, if I got a dollar in my pocket. Whenever I see you, I can talk. You believe that? That's true. Yes, I, I do. I don't. Yes, I, I, I believe we're on even I believe we're on even ground. See, it depends on how the relationships broke up. That matters. So if I was doing fuck shit, right, and you got my girl, because I was doing fuck shit. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm I, off the I got I'm, no, on, I'm, no, on, I'm no, on a child. I'm, I gotta eat that. The children. What, I, what I'm saying is <laughs> I gotta eat that. So you can't hold that over my head. Nigga, that's mine. It should I fuck, and you no, it is. <laughs> it should me and you go have a threesome. No, we're not talking no, about no, a threesome. No, no, no. This is Listen. Oh, go ahead. Listen. If me and you go have a threesome, have we done that before? <laughs> I'm listening. Go ahead. Right? We have. Go He's ahead. A nasty nigga. Man. <laughs> <laughs> a nasty old nigga. I'm Listen. nasty. <laughs> yes. He said a threesome. <laughs> if, me, if me and you have a threesome with a girl, and then we all go our separate ways, and then that woman ends up, and this is a rumor. Right, with child. This is allegedly, and this is a rumor, and I'm done reporting on this shit after I report on it. And that woman ends up with child. Mm -hmm. And you stressed about it. We both are stressed about it. One, no, no, I wasn't stressed. <laughs> I ain't stressed at all. That's not true. We ain't hear a peep out of one of them niggas. That's one of them niggas, we didn't. It is true. One is just bigger than the other, so the peeps got hurt. No, mm -hmm. one nigga we really did not hear a peep from. We did not know where he was. He God. was out. He shot some nigga. <laughs> and that, he, he was out. We didn't hear a peep from him. And you had all those stresses. Mm -hmm. And you find out the baby is yours. Come on, I don't want to slow walk this dog. And you find out it's yours. And then push your T come out and say, hey, what's up with that? Mm -hmm. Hey, yeah. hey yeah. what's good? <laughs> And then you're getting mad DNA tests and mad paternity tests and you're making somebody sign it. Yeah, the other nigga, anytime I see you, yeah, I got something to say, I could talk if I feel like it. 
I don't see where this is. Especially if Come on, I, I don't want to leave this because it's messy. But yeah, it's messy. Yeah, it's messy. I don't want to be messy. Know. All guy podcasters are messy. That has to change at some point. Not today. <laughs> but that's got to change. Come on, Ish. Come on. You've been I outside disagree. too long. I disagree with you. You've been outside too long for this. I totally disagree. No, you don't. I do. You don't. Not and in I'm real not, life. I promise you, I do. I mean, we can talk about this off the pod. Can you support it? We on a pod, nigga. I don't want to talk to you. You off the saying pod. you don't want to be messy? <laughs> I'm, so I listen, just support it. Okay, cool. We both pop the chick. Uh huh. Dog, that could have been 50-50 you, 50-50 me, whatever the case may be. How am I to goof because my shit is faster than yours? My shit is more in shape than yours. How am I to goof? We both put ourselves at the same exact risk. I strapped up. What is Says he who? saying? Says who? You added that piece. All right, I'm respecting it. I'm, you added that I'll piece. I respect you. What makes... No, I want you to answer now. We here. What makes me the goof and you not be the goof? We both put ourselves in the same exact situation and circumstance. The big. That was a mi- the, Yo, the life that was formed. What are you saying? Nobody knew that that was going to take place. You are overlooking the fact that I'm saying we both took the same risk. Nigga, ain't nothing right. wrong with me and you having a threesome. Whoop de doo, it was lit, nigga. I know. Heineken's and Bud. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? What are you saying? No, that sounds what, like a blast. I know. So what I'm saying is. And if we leave and the blast is over, you know how many times I had a black? Well, not me. <laughs> not for you, dog. Not me. You know how many times a nigga had a blast with a young lady and then went they separate ways and then he got that phone call. And now it's unblast like. <laughs> hey, I know. The fresh and fit nigga was having a blast. He was. And then, and then he got the phone and call. And then he got the call. And it was unblast like. Blast no more. It, then it was blasphemous. Come on, <laughs> Ish, yo, stop. <laughs> Listen to you what I'm talking. No, 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 I, will, no I, am talk, yeah, yeah. I am talking. This is what I'm saying. And I respect all parties What involved. makes the other nigga a doof right, is what doing, I'm saying. You're not getting me, and, and I'm clearly not getting you. I don't want us to yeah, go around. Yeah, so yeah, yeah let's just, yeah. It's all right. Yeah. That was interesting. I did that in my head already. That's why I knew that it would get yeah. there. Mm-hmm. I, the first thing I said was, yo, what the fuck is wrong with Ish? saying some of this shit. And then I was like, well, <laughs> well, he won a little bit. There, there is that that other little tidbit where, yeah, he lucky ASAP ain't bad. been talking to that. But you he know lucky what? that ASAP is busy. You and know y'all know I ain't the biggest ASAP Rocky fan. You're not. Yeah. He but is. He lucky that ASAP is fucking trying on 2029 fashion uh, designs. <laughs> He in 2030 trying on clothes. That sounds He's crazy. lucky. You know that what it is? There was He's lucky. There was a there was a a better way. I guess he could have got his shit off. That way right there, what he said, those exact words. Was corny to you. Was corny. Got it. That's what it is. What would have been a better way? I'm not a rapper. I'm just, but that did not hit the way I guess you intended for that to hit. I got it. I that's what made it corny. Right that, that's like, what made it corny to me. Like, uh, in the World War Three, I did not lying. want ASAP Rocky to be next up to bat. Respectfully, <laughs> respectfully. Or, or, I feel like or I, he trying to he trying to take the big. Three I spot. feel like last pod <laughs> I said ASAP Rocky would be next up to bat. Like I thought, Future was going to have Rihanna on here. I thought that that was coming that too, was and I don't funny. think that's far. I, mean, I don't think I that's far. Going to be an R&B pulling, project. If they're pulling and, out all of the of Aubrey Ops, Rihanna's not far. Mm-hmm. We got to get this summer Fenty line out. <laughs> Bitches is buying. <laughs> it's money to be made. But somewhere around the fall, feel that thunder in the air. <laughs> when she come on the hook, let me to be the and star, man, it glow. Yo, stop playing with Rihanna. <laughs> like, Look, if there's anybody that can get Rihanna out, it would be him. I agree. That's my, it, it, anybody I that, that can get the weekend out for nine features in a row after can get Rihanna. And, and if the, there's anybody that wants to shoot a shot at someone that's been dissing her, it's Rihanna. It's Rihanna. Well, look, after the weekend said he wasn't doing no more features, he was like, "Yo, Puff on the, the, the Love album. Puff got his last feature. I'm done with features. I'm done. I'm rebranding all of that. And then here we go. If you could do that, <laughs> that's what he said after after Puff put French on the record. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know for the weekend said that. Yeah, he said that was his last feature. I'm yep. done. I'm not doing these shits no more. <laughs> Fuck you niggas. And French got off on that. French in 21, but it still was like, yo, what's going on? <laughs> what's going on? And that record is hard. Uh, that pop album is still hard, by the way. <laughs> Charges that haven't been fouled yet aside. That shit is hard. Anyway, uh, what was we saying? Do y'all care about the weekend shot to about TikTok or some shit? Uh, it was funny. It was funny. I got a good laugh out of it. That's it. Yeah, okay. Your, your, your shooter, your shooters are making TikToks. That was funny because I went and looked and 
Oh, can, they are? Oh. Can no. shooters not make TikToks? It's weird. <laughs> it, I mean, have you seen his TikTok? Uh, no, I don't, I'm, not, I'm not on TikTok. Is he dancing? What's he doing? It's just funny. Is he, okay. If I see on a TikTok, <laughs> I'm going to bleep that name. <laughs> if I see him on a TikTok, <laughs> it's going to make you, I'm going to be like, hey, bro. Yo, what you doing? <laughs> Especially if he's active. Like, yeah. oh, you're not just over here. You are. I feel like the new killers could have a TikTok. I was about to say, this new generation. Yeah, a new generation. Yo, let me tell you something, dog. If you are known to shoot people, <laughs> you can do whatever the you fuck, do you what the fuck you want to do. Hey, listen. Niggas can do the running right? man yeah. and break the... Saw- yeah, I agree with that. Save the fuck you want, fam. You I got agree it. with what he's saying. Th- Thug, said he had, a- Thug said he had the dress on because he had the stick under the dress. <laughs> <laughs> and ain't a person said a word to him. Not a peep. Not a peep. Not near New York rapper, not near L.A. rapper, <laughs> not none of these gangbangers, not nobody said a peep to Thug. And that was a fly dress. <laughs> that was a that, fly dress. That's what niggas talking about that lavender shit? Yeah. He slayed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he, he ate. <laughs> he did. That too. <laughs> did his big one? Nah, he did. He did. <laughs> yeah. I feel like if, I know, if I'm known to shoot niggas, I'm, buying, I'm doing what I want. I'm doing yeah, what I'm doing. What the fuck you talking about? about? Who gonna stop me from doing the running man? Nobody. <laughs> Run you, man. <laughs> fuck you talking about? Have your ass running up the block. What you going to say? Nothing? Not, not a damn thing. That's true. The but we can't also, get some disc bars off. It's funny, too. I love that's it. What it was, that's what made it funny. That's funny. It's still Drake against the field. Mm-hmm. I don't like it. I don't like that. That's what I don't like. I don't like it. That's why I kind of be rooting for the nigga. Sorry, I don't like it. Like that's why I be kind of rooting for the I nigga. think it's corny. Where is Starbucks? <laughs> I think it's corny. I think it's corny. I'm going to Starbucks. You don't like the jump? No. Not like, no. Get your shit off. Why you got to wait until he got a problem and he got a problem with him to now come over here? If and Ross Ben had a problem, nigga, if Ross got a microphone, Ross could have said whatever he wanted to say. If this person had a problem, they could have said whatever they wanted to say. Now you I feel the corny. strength in numbers and now you want to jump. Six niggas jumping a nigga is corny. Eight niggas jumping a nigga is corny. Y'all two are the biggest Drake dick riders on this podcast. I'm not. And you, you <laughs> nigga, you have the crown. Y'all two are the you biggest are the Drake Drake dick riders on this cra- You have the crown. I've, I've heard it for a few weeks now. I let y'all put it on me, pause. But y'all two niggas, Why? y'all the biggest. It's not about Drake. I don't care about it. It could be anybody I'm gonna fuck about position. Drake, nigga. This, don't, this is about how I feel mo- about when you watch shit from the yeah. outside looking in. It didn't have to be Drake. It could have been six niggas ganging up on Meek or six niggas ganging up on Ross. I would have felt the Newark. same way. You've, so what? You've seen people get jumped. I know. I don't understand what you're saying. That don't mean I, because I've seen a nigga get jumped. That's I mean, I'm, I've jumped niggas. <laughs> Fuck <laughs> you talking about? What's your point? So that's what's happening. That is my point. This is music. In music, if you had a problem with this man, mm-hmm. nigga, address your problem. Don't wait for the field to now bring your problem to him to say, yeah, uh, me too. Yo, can that's I ask, corny. Can I ask you something? That's sucker shit. Can I ask? No, it's not. Can yes, I, it is. No, it's not. Can I ask you something? Shoot. Whenever you jump this dude. Mm-hmm. Why'd you jump him? We was in a brawl, nigga. It's on. Once the first punch get thrown, it's mayhem. What I'm saying is, this personal. So you've never. And that's had, not a jump. That's yeah, a brawl. Yeah, yeah, exactly. No, no, no. Exactly. Might have been on, no, in the no, midst no. of the brawl. No, no. no, 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 no. <laughs> in the but, midst. But that's, but that's still both. a brawl. Let me tell you, I've I've jumped. Niggas I want to talk. I heard your brawl. Go ahead. <laughs> that's still a brawl. Even if y'all jump that nigga in a brawl, it's a brawl. I think I'm I'm with Mel or Mel's with me. A jump. I've jumped niggas too. Cause I, I never, we never did it, but we planned it. I've, no, I've done it. And we planned it because it needed to be planned. <laughs> because that go one, there. Was, look, because that one nigga. No one of us individually. <laughs> could take that motherfucker. I mean, maybe we could. So Nobody was one of us to try it. <laughs> we had heard enough and seen enough and knew enough about this person to where all right, y'all. A plan needed y'all. to be executed. Hey, risk assessment. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's why I don't understand what you're saying. Yo. If I'm looking at a nigga with more slats than the Beatles, mm-hmm. then yes, I need Suck. help. Suck shit. <laughs> I need help with this one. Suck a shit. I don't think that's nothing. Oh, you fucking crazy. Okay. That's suck a shit. And again, it ain't about Drake. You want the field to not be even. No, I, it, you want the field to not be even. If Rick Rick Ross says anything to Drake, all of the Drake fucking target skew fans swallow his fan base up, and it's no longer. So what? That so, fan base can always swallow so up the other fan base. That can happen still right now. So what? So what? No, it can. Yes, it can. Drake's target skew fan base can swallow that pause, that whole conglomerate. Rick Ross. Yes, they can. Maybe. Right now. Maybe. If, if that's what you're saying, if, if that's the argument, if, they can't. Like, if it's Drake against yeah. the field, and I'm not trying to turn this into the Drake cast. 
if it's Drake against the field, the field has a better shot than Drake against Rick Ross's fan base, than Drake against Future's fan base, than Drake against Metro Boomers. But also, also these fan bases about? are commingled yeah. as well. You know what I mean? So, like, these people Fire are. Fire at that nigga! What are you talking I about? You. you know how many fucking Avengers movies we got? I was gonna say. What are you talking about? You know what happened though? Jump they they all nigga. jumped out there one on and they realized they needed to do it together. They, they took the shot. I don't want to hear none of that they shit. They didn't wait to say, yo, hey, yo, you got a problem with him? Yo, all right, cool. Throw it through the hammer. Yo, throw it through the hammer. I thought that y'all got this. Dog. I got this. Like, we got the hammer. We got the Avengers. You niggas are scared we got to shoot the until mighty, they all shot. Hey, enough of that. We got the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. <laughs> we got yes, man. Voltron. Captain Planet. all them niggas. Yo, what are y'all toys? Man, niggas. Super friends. Thundercats. What are y'all saying? I don't want to hear it. Don't change your fucking mind after we on music and we like Drake. G.I. Joe's. Oh, yo. <laughs> yeah, I'm done, yo. Yo, you sound crazy. He's going to have a coronary. I'm telling you, it's all right, right, though. I think you sound nuts. It's all right. I they think you sound nuts. They scared of that nigga. Yeah. All right. What's so, wrong with that? Listen. All right, cool. What is wrong? Stay here. Stay here. Stay here. Stay here. If you scared of me, nigga, don't talk shit around me when you get with 20 other niggas, you bitch ass nigga. Uh, don't do that. That's you, sucker shit. You know, then you don't know how scary niggas act, nor do you have respect for scary niggas. That's still bitch scary nigga shit. You need to respect scary niggas. No, a scary nigga <laughs> will kill you. No, for the, uh, especially, a scary, a scary nigga will kill you when fa you leave respect. Uh, nobody you said that they would. Fact. Who said that they wouldn't? What I'm saying is a scary nigga will kill you when you got them and back them in the corner. He's out here by... Yo, these no, niggas is bitches, No, a scary bro. nigga will just kill you because he's scared. Of you, when you put, yeah, when he, you fucking he, with him. Yeah. When you no, bullying him. Yes. He's just scared. No, no, you're wrong. It's all right, though. I don't think I'm wrong. Hold up, Rice Pigs. This nigga pissing me off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. No. Whatever Netflix and AT&T did... These wild numbers been calling me for a week straight, yo. I gotta nah, block. Nah, nah. Nigga, I I'm gotta block every I'm one of these mobile. dudes. I think the fire department, the police, all of them. Yo, all this perp fanboys calling. Boy the, calling. Perp, yo, I'm calling from the fire department's benevolent association because, yo. Bro, oh, you answered it. I don't be talking on the phone. You, so you know, no, nigga. <laughs> that's it could his be, bag. It might it be somebody be calling for a yeah, consultation. Like, shit, yo, look at my phone. Pittman, New Jersey, is calling me. I've lived in New Jersey most of <laughs> my never, life. What the fuck is never heard of <laughs> Deal, Deal, New Jersey. Oh, deal is fire. Yeah. Deal, deal got that. Well, money. I never heard of Freehold, Phillipsburg. Will, then dog, stop calling my phone, yo. Uh, <laughs> listen, it's time for the best app in the universe, Prize Pick. <laughs> Before we get into that, that's my other problem with you. You ain't come to enough studio session tomorrow. You didn't, y'all. I don't care. Yeah, you wouldn't have made that He was never in the studio. Yeah. yeah. He wouldn't have made that one. I wasn't. I was talking about Not enough for me. Oh, bro, go ahead. When yo. I look back on my career, I'm telling you. All right. Cool. What were you doing? Uh, I had life. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. I was in my own studio. Uh, oh. oh. Okay. <laughs> You, you don't have to back down from him when he does that. I didn't say nothing wrong for her to back down. I didn't, I didn't back her like, down. I'm, why I can't talk to her? I'm going to start telling them when you do look, that. Yo, I don't look, back look, him down. Yo, look. you don't have to back down, you don't Mel. Have to back down. You don't want to support your friend? Uh oh, Of course. Okay. So, Let's... I went to some, not all. Oh, okay. Not a Got to support not myself. Mm. Mm. You support yourself pretty well now. You still don't. You know what I mean? <laughs> you too. How much support you need for yourself? How many jobs of mine you been to? To come out. How many jobs of yours yeah. have I been to? Yeah. I'm not sure. I'll give you an answer. See, real easy answer. You, you sure? <laughs> you don't want me to answer. <laughs> you sure? Because what are you classifying as a job? <laughs> jobs of mine. Oh, no. That was you calling me early in the morning after that heartbreak. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, come take a ride. Whoa, with, whoa, come take whoa. a ride with me. You don't want to open up come these doors. See, look. Now, <laughs> look, now look. Now look. Now look at Yo, you, now, was, now, you was heartbreak now, hotel, Whitney. My, uh -oh, uh, don't start uh -oh. your shit. <laughs> Uh -oh. You asked me a question about I used about to rock jobs. you to sleep, nigga, before I went hey, home. Yo, oh, 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 oh. Y'all is Y'all is never being some allegations. Yo, we got a real, we got a really great ad for you right now. Right. Uh, let me tell you all about Prize Picks. Prize Picks is the number one daily fantasy sports app in all of the land. Super easy to play. Jalen Brunson should be a giveaway for some of y'all by now. I want a couple dollars from him. He what is him? going absolutely crazy. I told y'all every time he sees Dame Lillard bake, baking on the stove, <laughs> baking on the stove. Then we beat the Celtics the other night, and they didn't sit a soul. <laughs> I'm watching the highlights. Smoke them, Porzingis, Jalen Brown, Tatum. They played people, and we won. Jalen, Jalen Brunson, yo, he's tough. Mo most Nick points ever in a season since uh, Ewing in '91, like two, 
2400 2100 something crazy guy but uh anyway super easy really great really great to play if you smart uh oh yeah <laughs> i don't want to scare off the dumb people all you have to do is select two or more players look at their projected stat line and pick more or less for your chance to win up to 25 times your money and you can also turn ten dollars into one thousand dollars that's right you can win up to 100 times your money uh, we got the playing tournament still going. Teams are fighting for playoff position in the NBA. Uh, we got baseball. We got everything but college basketball, mm -hmm. right? Baseball is rocking. Open up the app. Take a gander for yourself. And don't forget to use promo code JBP. Good luck to all of you beautiful people out there. That's right. And Bede went off the other night. He's back. Healthy, too. Playoff position in the East <clears throat> is looking mm. shaky, baby. The West is rougher. The West is scary time. Dallas looks good. Minnesota looks good. Dallas got the Clippers. <sighs> Round one. That's rough. That's a toss-up. Philly is like the seventh seed right now. The Magic, like, it's, 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 it's rough. all over the place. Yes, yeah, it's, it's a lot. I want to just stay where we at and play the Pacers. And even they not an easy out. I was about to say, yeah, yeah. Ain't they ain't an easy out, but I don't want to play Philly. If you if I'm, you give me Philly or the yeah, Pacers, yeah, you definitely go. I want to play the Pacers. You and they, they don't have no D. Yeah, you got to run up and down. Man, with them. Indiana don't have no D. Um, listen, where was we at with music? Where were we at? I don't remember where we were at. We were Future done with still. Future's album. Yeah, yeah, Future, um, it wasn't much else out there. I don't think. No, no shit. shit. Oh, clear out, clear out. I forgot your man. Your yeah, man is here. I'm so on you. Yeah, that was very insulting. My bad. I said my bad. Very. very. Don't do that again. I said my bad. Oh, because Chris Brown came out the day before, though. That's why. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's why. I appreciated that, too. Gave me a day to fully enjoy it before I had to worry and listen to the future. Um, the 1111 Deluxe, 13 new records. This is easily the, the best deluxe that he's put out. He said, fuck all that 11 solo shit. Well, <laughs> yeah, because it was a, two, two projects. Uh -huh. I mean, two discs, 1111. Went, went 13 on them. 11 out of the 13 went into the playlist for me. How big is the playlist? Oh, uh, my playlist is about what's the name 275. Yeah, what do you call it? Thousand. No, it's just, just CB. It's time to dig her down. Nah, nah, nah. nah. <laughs> oh, that's a different uh -huh. playlist. That's a different one. Uh, it's time to go, go in the ice box. <laughs> that's a different playlist over there, man. It's a different playlist, bro. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> the ice uh, box. It's, it's, it's ice box. Time. The igloo. The igloo. Yo, 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 the the igloo. igloo. Big fridge. Right the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's time to open up the fridge. <laughs> yo, and you're doing a little too much laughing, little Miss Mamas. I, I'm interested. What's everybody's sexy time playlist called? Illmatic. Well, if you. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's funny. I, I used to have them joints. I ain't. I make one of them in a long ass time. Well, if Damn, it's sexy time, and you got a girl. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, dog. Yeah. All right. Shots. Yo, yeah. Hold on. Where? I must have missed some shit. Come on. Keep it, ro keep it romantic, Mister. I buy flowers once a week, nigga. You still him? wait? Are you still believing that? I do believe that. I, I do believe you're that. You're a hater, yo. yo <laughs> I do believe that. You think I could get anything off? Of yo, the yo, bar. yo, you're, you put oh. on sexy music when you have sex with your girl. Every time you have sex with your girl, no. Every time, no. Every time, no. Fuck, we talk. What? I fucked to the Family Guy theme song. Yeah, what? <laughs> <laughs> the Rizzo could be on. What the fuck you talk about? Liquid Swords. <laughs> <laughs> all right, what? all right. So if you have sex with your uh, with your partner ten times, how many times does music come on? I ain't counting, but it might be under five. It's definitely under five. Yeah, Same. what we talking yeah. about, nigga? That's crazy. We got my kids. girl. Yo, we, we got you know kids. You got me with my girl. <laughs> we trying gotta to set no mood. <laughs> <laughs> That's the mood, nigga. <laughs> what the fuck oh, you talking shit. about? Yo. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. Hey, yo, y'all niggas up here styling, oh, yo. Shit. Yo, I'm niggas. with you. I don't put on the music. If there's some about? music on, then cool, but yeah. like, you just give a little tap on that. A little tap. Nigga, Chicago PD on. I ain't changing the TV. No, that'll get wet. <laughs> Crazy nigga. That'll really, that'll really get it. Y'all niggas man, stunting. No, we not. No, we not. No, we, not. we with you. you we right. right. dress it to him. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's gone. him. You're lighting the candles Wait. every time you have. Get your ass. Stop fronting, yo. Okay, I light candles when there's no sex. You do. Keep going. <laughs> and I play slow jams when there's no sex. Okay. 
So to answer Mel's question, today, I normally just have to go to, it's on the TV, because I'm doing the TV, the Apple remote. It's mm -hmm. Joseph's Mix or whatever it says right there. Okay. But when it's not that and I got to go on my phone, you know what time it is in the phone. Actually, I'll just show it to you. I'll just show it to you. <laughs> I'll just show it to you. Playlist. Liquid Lube. What does that say right there? Exactly. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck it. <laughs> yeah. Double exclamation yeah. point. It says exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. 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 What you doing? <laughs> exactly. That's, Duh. Yo, that's fine. Stupid. That's peace. That's peace. Exactly. Hold on. How many, how many records on there? When, oh, shit. <laughs> Hold on. Let me see. This has, yeah, I got to go to the bottom. Yeah, yeah. Right? Go to the bottom. To the bottom. This has 181 songs, 10 hours, 33 minutes. Mm. Salute. Exactly. I'm gonna let peace. it rock. That's, That's peace. nice. That's peace. That's peace. Yo. What a difference. <laughs> hey. Yo, my what's the name is fucked up. But yeah, you can send that on over. What? A <laughs> no, you can't fuck to another man playlist. Why can't I? That nigga got similar taste to me in R and B. I don't give a fuck what nah, you talking about. You gotta make your own shit. Yeah, man. Crazy. Crazy. Any fuck my bitch. <laughs> 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 Similar taste in R&B. Oh, 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 is that what it is? <laughs> Where are you going to answer the question? Oh, my own question? What's yeah. my playlist? Oh, Mine shit. is called... I know some Imagine Slug, Dragons or some shit. Got emojis and shit. Look at her face. Existential, <laughs> got, got the stars next to it. Go ahead. No, that mine is... Outer body playlist. experience. No, mine is called Room 1108. Room? Mm-hmm. I don't even want to ask. I don't. Him. You got to ask. What do y'all ask? No, no. Parks, <laughs> Parks guy. Parks. Hey, no, what's that mean? <laughs> it's my favorite hotel room in, um, in a hotel in L.A. that Freak I used to ass. have like nah. some rendezvous in. That shit take her back to a particular person. Oh, show does. I know. Yeah, oh, you ain't shit. fooling me. Show yep. does. That's what that oh, is. Shit. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Big mama is a freak. <laughs> Canadian mama's a loop of freak. <laughs> Rose Piddles at 17. <laughs> Room 1108. Damn right, we got a date. Uh, took a nap so I could stay up late. It must be fate. Hey, hey. Want you to eat it like a plate? Oh my God, I can't wait. Hey. <laughs> Canadian super free. <laughs> Canadian super free. <laughs> Canadian super free. <laughs> Room 1108. Yeah. God. Look, you all right? Look at, uh, look yeah. at your face. Oh You'll be on the couch. You know? God damn. Oh, oh man. I'm good. I'm fine. All right. That is hilarious, yo. Mm hmm. Canadian super, <laughs> Canadian super freak, yo. <laughs> Burn <laughs> and, and, and. Holy uh, shit. Um, but no, back to Chris Brown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chris Brown shit is hard, man. There's some smoke wait, on there, too, now. Se sex so good. Um, you would like that. Mm -hmm. um, my favorite record on there is Residuals. Pause, but carry on. She would like the song. And SSH. Uh, yeah. No, the song. the song. You can't say to somebody you would like sex so good. The song. I can when say you, you would like them, a song. But when I, you work, you better I say did. it. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> when yes. you work together now. You're not the boss. <laughs> That don't mean no, 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 no. That's Whatever. Wait, wait. <laughs> wait. That, that get you in the office. Let's teach oh, him to. Yeah, yeah, put him back in the class. class. You're right. You're right. And you got to fill out one. No, man. <laughs> you got to sign some shit. Yeah. Yeah. The fuck you talking about? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> that, that don't mean nothing. And I got to check, but I think my contract say I'm exempt even if y'all do something <laughs> oh, crazy. Y'all, yeah. Fuck y'all talking about. <laughs> that put me in nothing. I learned. <laughs> uh, oh shit. Uh, Chris Brown. Yes. Chris Brown. Here we go. Oh, what's yeah. I was what's your favorite? I was, favorite, I can't say because he confused me with how he did this. <laughs> what you mean? It's a new album. That's what all the deluxes have been. No. Yes. When? Starting from Heartbreak on a Full Moon. No. He came back, bro, he came back with additional 12 songs called The 12 Days of Christmas. Where afterwards. were those 12 songs? Oh, wait, that's a separate? No. It, the way it dropped, he took the 12 songs and put them before the original album and re-released it. Okay. Then he did Indigo. Exact same thing. I think that one was like maybe 10 records or, or eight, eight or nine records. He puts them before the original album and re-released. That's what everybody does with their deluxe now. Doja just dropped I've the deluxe. Never they seen take that. the new songs. And put Load them, them up and put them first, and then right after that, Sometimes the original they do album begins. Yeah, so. I haven't seen it because again, this is the streaming game. Doing them first. Yeah. This is the streaming game. We want the new records first. Sometimes I've seen them both ways, but 
We don't argue. Heartbreak on a full moon. I I remember it. I'm remembering. Mm -hmm. Heartbreak on a full moon. You know how long it took me to fucking get together my favorites on that 46 track album before a deluxe? So by the time the deluxe came, no, nigga, I'm playing (laughs) these 46 songs that I just memorized for like five months. No, get this shit out of here. Indigo, I don't really remember. Indigo, he did that. Indigo, I don't remember. Um, but this Breezy, right here, he did it. I listen. I if you're asking me, ish, I started at uh, no interruptions at three. Fire is crazy. You didn't like Bruce Lee? Love it. Oh, okay. Love it. I'm just telling you what I had to put on repeat. Got it. For got it. No interruptions was on repeat. I love the Bryson record. Mm-hmm. Delusional. Uh, I love delusional. My favorite sex so good like you. Come on, man. Listen, man. Bruh, when he get into that bag. Yeah. Nice. And I like the Michael flip. The, the, uh, and that's yeah, your cousin. Yeah. Listen to your cousin shit. Yeah. You, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, what's wrong with you? But I, I'm with you, though. Like, his, his projects have usually been so long that I ain't really run to the um, deluxes. The deluxes like that. I mean, of course, I'm going to go listen to him. I already got my records that I fell in love with off the album. I may grab one or two. Even from Heartbreak, from Indigo, from Breezy, all of those albums, no more than two records from the Deluxe have been like, okay, I fuck with these heavy. This one, this this felt like a great album, and everything was, all these records hit. The only two I didn't like, uh, it's, it's an Afrobeats thing, I guess. I'm not really cool. I don't. I'm, I'm I good love on the him Devito. with all that Afrobeats. I, I, I don't, I don't like the Devito record is insane, I, I and I know it goes crazy. Like I've heard people say, "Yo, bro, you missed it's it." It's insane like, that record. That's not my particular bag. That's mm-hmm. cool. And the the um the freak record. And he does that I don't shit like, better I, than I, a I lot of niggas. I could do without the freak record. Wow. Turn this shit off. That shit is. Fire. Yo, God. Yeah, like I can uh, respect this shit, but when that, not when, nothing when, that, yo, yo, listen, yeah, when that come on in room 1108, my nigga. Oh, yeah, yeah. oh, oh furniture like, in room 1108. <laughs> Nightstand Dog. moving. Night, yo, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Window mm, grabbing. Mm. Oh. Oh, that's funny, son. <laughs> <laughs> God, Oh man! All right, uh, listen. But the other part, of, other takeaway from the album that everybody's been talking about, of course, oh, the beast. Is, yeah, yeah, let's get to the, the World War Three. We're still the, World War Three. The, the Freak Record, which is another. That's the other song that I kind of skip. It's um, Chris Brown, Joyner Lucas, Lil Wayne, and T Grizzly. T Grizzly, excuse me. Uh, samples Nelly's Air Force Ones. Yeah, I ain't playing that. Um, yeah, I was, I was cool. Um, but there's a line in there where Chris says, "Fucking all my old chicks ain't gonna make us equal." Sipping that 1942, because I don't do no Cuervo. Mm. Freak chick, she like Casamigos, not the Migos. So, you know, this little... But what I do like... I get it, but most of the freaks that like uh, Casamigos like Migos. That's true. <laughs> they, they do. Yeah. <laughs> and no one drinks Cuervo anymore. Yeah. yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> but I see what he did. I see what he did. Yeah. I see what he did. I see what Cuervo did, too. Well, he came right back, man. Yeah. Right back. Right to you, too. I, I, I appreciate it. This is someone mostly with ad libs is great. <laughs> <laughs> that is a funny way to diss somebody. I just like that. I love them beefing. He, he didn't go to IG. He didn't go to no tweets. He all right, cool. I YouTube like, it I, up. I appreciate that still from people. Just, Same. Hey, listen, we got an issue. We're gonna go talk about it right here on the on the you said something on the record. I'm coming back to you on the record. Twenty four. Royal hours later. Rumble. Mm-hmm. Difference is everybody the, fight. Difference is these R and B niggas ain't gonna apologize. Get to throwing bottles. No, they're not. <laughs> they're going to get the scrapping. They, they do. What do y'all think of the diss? I think that these niggas that's up a couple hundred million your, dollars. Your boat, your boat got a paddle. <laughs> my, yeah, my, yeah, I, got, yeah. I don't like the my, kayak shaving. My, yeah. I don't like the canoe shaving. <laughs> Every time you it's fuck on her, every time you fuck on this little bitch, she gets skinny. She gets skinny. Yo, she lose a lot of weight. That was, that was cool. Like, why would you say something like Yo, that? Yeah, he, nah, he, he's punching. Like, it was... It was it's body shot. Pun shots, intended. Mm-hmm. That was Sorry. fucked up. Yikes. Um, <laughs> I don't know if I want to hear this record from Amigo, but... I do. I do. I don't. That's not what I, I listen to do. him for. I want to hear that shit. I, I want to hear some turn up shit. I just want like to hear some turn up shit. <laughs> I loved when they dissed me. I still... Shit was a vibe. <laughs> that was one of my best summers. <laughs> Actually. Everywhere I went. Just peace, blue. It's playing my shit. Like, I was back outside. Like, I had a record again. <laughs> I like that shit. Oh, man. I'm just, like I said, I just appreciate that he did it. That's it. Um, 
Well, and in turning up, sometimes you take a nigga bitch. Of course. I'm lost at how these niggas even be beefing over girls. When they up a couple hundred mil? Fam. Maybe because they like the one particular girl. Or the shit don't change for them niggas. A hundred mil, a dollar, it don't it, broke niggas ain't got no bread and they beef over a chick. Yeah. Countries are worth yeah, I don't billions understand. and went to war over women. Like it don't it's the same shit yeah. on either it's, end of the uh, scale. You don't understand how none right. of these gentlemen are beefing over women. No. The money should supersede the box. The box. I just think that Sorry, it weighs heavy shit. Yeah, money's great. Yeah, yeah. Land, physically landed yeah, on yeah, her. Yeah, yeah. It's okay. Yeah, see. <laughs> It's cool. Yeah, yeah. How come you always only hear what I say and not what she said? No, I heard what she said. Oh, okay. Because I'm only putting a battery in her back. No, I No, I just think that um, if the chick is fucking with me and Parks, Mm -hmm. what is me? Like, she fucking us. What we beefing for? Evidently, she's choosing who she gonna fuck with. You get what I'm saying? Like, you sound like a nigga that has fucked a lot of niggas' girls. I have. That's (laughs) how you sound. But you gotta be aware of when you sound like that. This mad in your example that you just gave this man shit for y'all to beef about. What? I wanted her on Thursday, bro. Yeah. <laughs> she wanted me on Thursday. <laughs> well, now you got beef with you. Yo, yo yeah, beef, like yo, fam. When I want her next Tuesday and she with you, I gotta eat that. Pause. So everybody should just be fly with that type of shit. With the shit, with the coming shit up, the coming in second, or coming up short, or being inconvenienced. Paused. <laughs> yeah. I'm done with you. That's not real, I'm real world ish. I don't know Yo, y'all who be listening insane, to this pod. Bro. That's not the real We on, know you, you better niggas. than the shit that you're saying. You know, come on, we know instances, yeah, bro. Come niggas on. niggas have been up come and beefed on. over hey, girls. You're taking this Uncle Potter shit too far. <laughs> Nigga, do you know niggas that have been up and beefed over girls? Yes. I know niggas that have been up and beefed over girls because the girl was doing sneaky shit, fucking the nigga behind a nigga back that they might have been cool with. Shit like that. But two niggas that ain't in the same clique that's popping the same chick, I don't see no reason why the dudes are beefing. That's not me potting. That's really how I feel. Well, so, And you just named more reason. You just highlighted that the girl could be doing sucker shit. I know, which I'm not going to beef with Parks because the girl doing bullshit. You're not going to never know that the girl is doing bullshit because you didn't speak to Parks. All you know is Parks is fucking this girl when you're not. And, and the girl is telling you something. You didn't confirm this with Parks. I know. But... It's cool, bro. Let's proceed. I'm a different type of person, I guess, in these type of circumstances. It's all right, though. A nigga you know. You got a girl that's... You you, you, you really digging this shit. Give mm-hmm. me this, is, this your joint. This your joint. Mm-hmm. Right? And a nigga you know. However you know him. Y'all, y'all just running to each other in the spot. That ain't your mans, but... But you like shorty. Mm-hmm. And you find the out end. he's busting her down. The end. You like Shorty. You like Shorty. You like the girl. That's the problem. These niggas you come like out here girl, trying to yo. act like they play it and all that. They don't care. Yeah. But they like these chicks. They really like these chicks. These so girls be likable acting, girls. So they acting like, oh, I don't give a fuck. You know, the game is the game. But when the door closed and ain't nobody watching them. You cry That's when he's just talking to dirty man. Yeah. Yeah. I so miss now, you. So yeah. now what fuck he doing. That nigga. So, look, so look, now what he try to do. And I'm not saying you would in this instance, but what these niggas do is now I'm going to try to get her to stop fucking with him. You fucking with that bitch ass nigga, that corny ass nigga. My niggas in them robbed them ice. I'm light skinned with green eyes. It's happened to me my whole entire existence. <laughs> what I'm telling you is if the girl. What does that has, mean? <laughs> niggas have like hated. What does niggas that mean? have hated when you be That's fucking with a chick. Oh. They whole life. What I'm telling you is if I know the nigga ain't my man and he popped shorty, he didn't the girl. The girl voluntarily gave him some box. Of course. Yeah, so why am I mad at the nigga? The girl voluntarily fucked him. What are we talking? Yo. I got it, man. Yo, you niggas is Listen, nuts. in other news, <laughs> yeah. right? What do you think of that, Mel? Because you always do that. You always let me and Ice take up the fight. What do you think? Well, I mean, in this particular situation, if that's what we're talking about, it's a girl that he really apparently has has a hold on him mm-hmm. and she's out here living her life like it's golden mm-hmm. making other choices mm-hmm. but I, apparently you've never held a torch for a woman that didn't want you back that's never where, happened where to you where did that piece come in at? no I have you, you have mm-hmm. okay so you haven't felt a way that you know she moved on and I'm not she mad had at somebody else okay 
I'm not mad at the guy. Well, she in a Rolls Royce now with the R's. And I had a right Honda. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She had a car. She, oh, she, she on the yacht. She on the yacht. She's she taking pad. pictures. No paddles no more. You never dealt with a woman that was intentionally trying to get you to feel some type of way. I have. And the guy that she chose, you knew, or she knew that it would affect you. Uh huh. I'm not mad at the guy. Ish, I almost had to beat the nigga up and squeeze because of you and you and the same girl. So stop this shit, yo. Stay here. Stop this shit, yo. Stop. stop. Watch, watch this. I didn't say that. Who did that? Who me did or him? What? Me or him? Then you, him. So you understand. That don't change what I'm saying. It does. Ish. You're talking about how I would respond to certain shit. No, I'm, I'm not. I'm telling you, my response no, is going to be not goofy. Ish, I'm not talking about how you respond to anything. And okay. then we can move on. I'm only attacking you saying I don't understand how this happens. I don't, I don't, because I wouldn't do it. Is one. I know niggas have been doing it since the beginning of time. Yes. Helen of Troy, a war was fought over that bitch. <laughs> what are we talking about? Her and her Uma fucking horse. <laughs> <laughs> this bitch yeah. Helen. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That bitch and her <laughs> fucking horse. <laughs> yeah, fuck oh, you, man. It. Yo, <laughs> I'm saying that I think these niggas is goofy beefing over girls. That's what I'm saying. So respect. Okay, well you respect. do know that that's never gonna cease. Okay? True, indeed. Until the end of time. It's always gonna be ten to okay. dick and look, around. And look, one other part about it. <laughs> you might not respond that way, but what if the nigga is one of them niggas? Wait, I'm now ten. He start to beef with not you. me. So I'm tender dick because I like this girl. No, that's not why you're tender dick. I'm tender dick because I, I like the girl and I'm mad that she's showing somebody else attention. Your tender dick... If or she's lying to me. Now, your tender dick... She's telling me it's one thing, the actions are saying it's another and thing. And it's something else. I ain't doing this with Ishmael. Yeah. I ain't just gonna trigger me up in here. Come on, moving on. <laughs> moving on. What else we got? What else we got? What else we got that's important or unimportant? I'm gonna stay on our music. What and else is in music? So, so we called it that it was gonna be open season on Cole. Uh... Yeah, it didn't start yet. Yeah. It, no, it, 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 it didn't. It, I, it didn't start yet. I know what you mean. It's um, coming. Rain is coming. It's yeah, a little, yeah. little drizzle. Yeah, it's getting, it's just cloudy outside right now. <laughs> right now, that Simba shot just cloudy. So, you see the clouds moving in a certain direction, and they're gray clouds. It's dark, and I don't even know if that was a shot. Shot. It, it wasn't a it shot. Wasn't a shot. He's just talking mm -hmm. about how rappers feel, yo. Yeah, and that, just, and that is how rappers generally. Feel. I didn't spoke to. I was speaking to rappers all week. That's how most of the good rappers feel. Yeah, a part of us died watching the spirit of competition in the way that it did with our titans. That's all. Niggas that everybody respects. Like, because yeah. even all we the, all old, fans the old rappers love we J. Cole. We all yeah, fans sure. of the participants. Yeah, the old rappers Cole, love J. Cole. Drake, Kendrick, they got all the rappers covered. That's why yeah. it was the big two and the possible. I think universally, though, <laughs> like everybody don't like Drake universally. You know what I'm saying? Most people respect him at the very least. all of the rappers like J. Cole. Yeah. yeah, all of the yeah. spitters, the rappers, the whatever you want to characterize them as, they all like. Most J. of them Cole. like Drake too, though. It's yeah, so, but you, you get my point. Yes, ninety nine percent. Like, yo, they love J Cole, and for him to have done that, they got it all covered. Like, yo, fuck. These three got it all yeah. covered. For him to have done that, we all are a little disappointed and hurt. I don't want to keep keep repeating the same shit, but I mean, it's out there. There's nothing you can do. He had to anticipate that. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's gonna be punchlines from here to. Forever. He's a punchline. Yeah, he, he is yeah. a punchline. He's a punchline. He's a punchline. That's fucked up. I'm, yeah. waiting, I'm waiting to hear what murder do. Uh, murder's yeah. going to kill him in the wrap-up. <laughs> yeah. 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 You in the wrap-up now. Damn. I didn't even think about that. That is 100% he's well, in the wrap-up. Murder going to go for his head. Plenty of rappers are going to. Yeah. He has to pick somebody and just abuse them. I, he's going to have to just beat the. Yeah. He gonna yeah. Just, but it got to yeah. be somebody of a certain caliber, too. You can't go punch super low. You can't do it. Nah, go beat some bass. <laughs> Lyrically, I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the first nigga that pop out the there after, pop, after, you after the fight. Gotta make an example out of him. I gotta back. Got to. I don't know, I don't know if it'd be Simba. Right. I think it's gonna take someone a little more. No disrespect Credited, to Simba, a little more Accredited. established. Yeah, establishment. Yeah. Spit of raps. And Kim and Simba did what he was supposed to do. Simba raps too. Mm -hmm. And he raps and, very and, well. And I think Simba did what he was supposed to do. I think it was like, yo, a word. It's a possible void out here. Pew. Yeah, I want to shout out real sick. Um, did from a battle rapper's perspective, and that's what I said I was interested to hear because again, these are competitive rappers. Mm -hmm. He did a freestyle. He called it a six minute drill, but with his, with his name yeah. six, yeah. and mm. he used the second half of the the, the conductor beat. Oh, okay, and went crazy over it. Huh. If this was fifteen years ago, J Cole wouldn't have been able to walk outside without hearing his name in a song. 
mm-hmm. right. or a bar. Immediately. You're right. You're right. I'm surprised it was. It ain't been more yet. I hate to tell you, it would have well, been. because it would have been a cool tape, a SNS tape, an yeah. MV tape. Every tape. Everybody, everybody, everybody would have a tape out this everybody. weekend with niggas. Cole wouldn't be able to pop out on that stage <laughs> at that show Word. in New York after that, and it just been all. It, it would have. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You, everybody. Oh yeah, please, <laughs> please. I don't never please. Anyway, uh, I can't wait to hear the fall off. I can't wait to hear what Drake does next. I can't wait to hear what Kendrick does next. This shit is just explosive. All yeah. of it. Mm-hmm. That's all how. I, that and that's what I was telling all you. All of it is just. Explosive. That's where I'm at. I just want to hear whatever y'all got next. Somebody on Twitter said that uh, Jordan Lucas was writing a verse right now from the apologies perspective. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know I laugh so hard. Yeah. Respectfully, of course. But boy, that was funny. That's funny. Dude. That's funny. <laughs> That's funny. Anything else in music? And he would do it. Anything else in music? Oh. We was messy mean, enough earlier, yeah, so yeah, I'm going I'm to skip uh, Summer's new man. <laughs> Unless Mel has anything on that. No, no. Did you I, see? You, yeah, I saw it. You kind of got to. No. Great no. pod in there. No. <laughs> that really lets the audience know uh, what's uh, going uh, on. Uh, she's got a new man. Okay. Well. And then there's somebody claiming that he's like a scammer. Somebody? Well, I didn't get that part. I didn't get that far into somebodies. it. Yeah. I'm sorry. A few somebody. A few somebodies. Okay. Well. She always like a weirdo though. This nigga's a fucking yeah, come on. Uh, <laughs> uh, what else? What else? Well, what else? music. Rest in peace, Mr. C. Oh yeah. man. Yeah, that, man. Come on. Oh my Absolutely. That one that one was Oh man. Yeah. Yeah, that's heavy. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. Shout out to Mr. C, man. Yeah, super legend, unexpected. I didn't know him to be in bad health or anything. I think people were saying that he was just doing shows. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mr. C did my birthday party last year. Oh, Sam, wow. he, was, he was booked to He's, do some shit Saturday. He oh, wow. still was oh, wow. him over here in the clubs and stuff. 57 years old, dog. Damn. Young. Just scary. Young. Mm-hmm. That's real. As you get up in the numbers... Some of them numbers be like, all right, man, nigga, I start doing I'm right there. I'm right, yeah, I'm right yeah. there. Yeah. It sounded the way, then you're like, wait a minute. Ooh, ooh. 57. Another 14 years. <laughs> In 14 years, I'm going to have plans. I'll be mad if something happens. It's not, it's not, it's not for me. <laughs> yeah, but you knew, like, your time. <laughs> <laughs> Once it started getting a single digit. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Single digit is nuts. That's right. Dude. Yeah, rest in peace, yeah. Mr. C, the legend, man. Legend, legend, the, uh, yeah. Rest in, uh, and, and prayers to all of the people that that affected from a lot. Everybody. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, a, it's too many people. I was just watching the the, 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 the the praise and stuff on Instagram, just people coming out. Because, again, it seems sudden. Mm-hmm. So it really affected a lot of people. I know a lot of you younger ones out there don't really know what Mr. C means to Hip hop, mm-hmm. New York, like some of y'all just don't get it. Mm-hmm. He be an old head DJ to them, yeah, mm-hmm. or they just know stupid yep. shit. Yep. So be an old head DJ, pointless. To, but Mr. C was that dude. Mm-hmm. So that one, rest in peace. Rest in peace. And thoughts and prayers to all his family, Friends. family, fans, yes. loved ones, yes. coworkers, mm-hmm. the whole Hot ninety seven crew and team, mm-hmm. that whole family. You know, you spend that many years somewhere. Big Daddy Kane, mm-hmm. Biggie, Big, Big, yeah. just so many. You know, he was real important in my upbringing into the shit. Uh, couldn't have met a friendlier guy. Uh, just welcoming, just welcoming. Uh, even when all that shit was going on with him, he was still, he still Plus stood, it. he stood tall. He mm-hmm. did. He stood tall, man. Yeah, gotta and it. and what I got, gotta give it to him, man. Talk about dedicating your life to hip hop. For Talk real, about real. just committing to the gig and living and breathing and bleeding something Hip-hop. and then dying in that. Mm-hmm. Like, that's an accomplishment for people that were raising this thing, man. So, again, salute to Mr. C. We love you. Uh, and the legend lives on. Uh, sure. Speaking of legends living on, not, not, not too long after that, O.J. Simpson, rest in peace. Rest in peace. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The Juice. 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 That's crazy and unexpected too. We just see him on cam shit all the time. Oh, yeah, he was on cam and them shit, but they said that he's been in hospice for like the last couple months. For real, and they just kept it on the sneak. Yeah, he uh, even, he he even I think it was a video from like March or late February where he addressed the rumor like I ain't hospice like 
you know, just to keep things. It's none of your business, basically. Right, right. Mm-hmm. Even if he was in hospice, he put a video out sitting in a car, like, I think I'm fine. Mm. You know, people deal with their diagnosis and everything personally and internally. And it's not y'all business. Some of these people, like, pre, pre-trial, pre O.J. Simpson was larger than life. Mm-hmm. For sure. Like, if you ever watched that doc, it put a lot of shit in perspective. But, um, yo, he was, a, you know, a major, major figure. So for them, that their decline be something that a lot of them can't even accept yeah. or don't want to accept. You remember who you were. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So rest in peace. Rest in peace. Ain't no rest in peace. How y'all feel? Come on, it's mixed reviews all over the net. Don't try um, to sneak out with a rest in peace. I don't. I don't. I, like, how don't, do y'all think OJ should be remembered? I want to say ESPN. What a poorest job y'all did in in reporting that OJ Simpson had had passed. What did they? I do don't know the white boy's name that was doing most of the talking during this block, but that was disgusting to me. And it wasn't just me. A lot of the people watching thought th- thought the same. You saw Stephen A. Smith's? No. No, I did not. What did Stephen? Um, Give it say? to me. I think this. I think that um, when somebody passes away, if we don't, all right. Let's let. First off, O.J. Simpson was never convicted of anything. That's a fact. So let's be clear there, right? So whatever your personal feelings are, he hasn't been proven to have done anything. Mm-hmm. Had so his day in court. He had his day in court, a fair trial, all that other shit, and he got exonerated. So the 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 things that have chased him for the last couple of year, twenty years to me have been unfair. That's my personal. ESPN opinion. reported on him like he was a convicted murderer. So mm-hmm. did Stephen A. Smith. Okay. Stephen A. Smith. Did. He didn't. Let me take that back. Let me walk that back. Stephen A. Smith wasn't the most friendly. I, in my opinion, these things shouldn't even be brought up when when you speak about him. Especially because he was never convicted. He didn't well, get convicted. Hold on one second here. The fact he wasn't convicted in a criminal um, court of law. Okay. But he was convicted in a civil proceeding. They found him liable for the murders of Ron Goldman and his ex-wife um, Nicole Simpson. Okay. You know, so a lot a, a civil case. One, you're basically guilty until proven innocent in a civil case, and also it just means you were. You you may have you may have had something. So to do what with. I'm saying is the the waters are not exactly clear. They're not they're they're very muddy, and the word exonerated can't really be applied. It here. absolutely he was, can he was, be applied. He was a, a, exonerated says says that evidence comes up that completely clears you of any wrongdoing. That's true, exactly. And that so and that's what exonerated mean. It's a different. Word. That's not he what was happened. He's found not guilty. Exactly. He's he found was, not guilty, which is different than so exoneration. Not, by definition, the difference between a civil and criminal conviction. In a criminal case, the government must prove the defendant's guilt beyond a reasonable doubt. In a civil case, the plaintiff must prove his or her case by preponderance of evidence. So it's, the, it's flipped, basically, mm-hmm. to what ICE is saying. So if you can't prove, you know, I could have been riding around with parks, mm-hmm. but I can't prove that. You get what I'm saying? So now I could be held liable for some shit just because I could not prove that I was with Parks. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it still don't necessarily, for me, it don't still don't necessarily muddy the waters for me. It just means, like, some of that legality shit to me get a little tricky. You know what I'm saying? And then I think that if we're going to go by a court of law and we're going to go by the legality of the United States, you can't... Uh, uh, tarnish somebody for some shit that they didn't get proved to have done. That's the reality my- of the fact is the fact he, he leaned into it. I mean, like the motherfucker wrote a book called If I Did It. You know what I'm saying? Where he like creates the scenario of if he actually committed these murders. Like he leaned into the his whole, um, you know, identity as a pariah. He leaned into it because that's just, that's what he became known as. He was... The problem, like the, the situation is, is that he's so many things at the same time. He's a he's a media personality. He's a hero to some. He's a pariah to others. He's a considered a murderer to others. He's considered uh, he's all these things and they are all wildly conflicting. So, you know, people are going to report from where they believe, you know, they that where they believe he, you know, he where his legacy kind of ended. You know what I mean? Because that's the most defining part of who people believe him to be is who he has been since. When you say the, people, are you talking about white people or black people? Because I think that's important to know. Because that's not the overwhelming consensus. In where? In like the black community? Yeah. I've been around tons of black folks who are like, oh, that motherfucker did it. And he also should have gotten away with it. 
because of the criminal proceedings and, you know, racial inequity within the criminal justice system, et cetera. Like that was really what was on trial. But the fact still remains. He had his day in court mm -hmm. and was not convicted. Now, in, in the example of criminal versus civil, right? He in order for him to prove he did not do it, because, again, in a, in a civil case, you're basically, like I said, guilty until proven innocent. I got to show y'all who did it. Or I have to be clear cut that I was I, I have to have an airtight alibi to where I was nowhere near there to completely rule me out. If I can't do those things. Then I'm still going to be liable at some point because I can't prove that I did not do it. Don't mean I did it. But I don't have a person to say, hey, he did it or something of the sort. That's why he's found guilty in the civil case. You were not found guilty in a, in a criminal case. So people calling you a murderer, calling you these things, you could feel however you want. Do y'all believe in a system or do you don't? Because okay. that's my problem with a lot of folks. A lot of, especially the white people out there, no disrespect, mm -hmm. that have y'all the ones who claim to believe the system and, oh, well, he, the, the court said he did this and this, that, and the third. Okay, well, he had his day in court mm -hmm. and he was acquitted. By any other definition, he, he's a free man and, and that, you let that go at that point. So This was just a racially charged thing that depending on your race, for the most it part, divided the country. it divided mm -hmm. where you stood. Mm -hmm. People saw a, a, a national hero up here and it was like black people were sitting there saying, we're going to get one to beat the system. Whether he did it or not, mm -hmm. we wanted to see one of ours beat, yes. actually win. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I remember the verdict being announced. I remember that too. I remember, it stopped the world. I remember. Like I over 100 million people were, were watching it. Part, like, I was yes. in school. I was in school too. I remember that. Everybody running around screaming, we won. What did, we didn't win shit. But mm -hmm. it was just a, it was a black, proud to be black moment because of what was happening in court. No, not, for, not for Nick fans, but go ahead. <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, yeah. Not, I forgot. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And you got to think, Rodney King had just mm -hmm. gotten his ass whipped, and these and whip. L the same exact city, these L.A. cops got off, and video camera of them beating this man to a pulp, and they got off. So it was a racial thing where it's like, yo, we lost on Rodney King, we better win on O.J. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? So. Whatever the case may be, however your feelings are, I think that from a professional standpoint, you need to report on this person based on the facts. So when it comes to somebody, when it comes to O.J. Simpson passing away and, you know, and broadcasters are going to do a recap of his life, they're going to do a recap of his life in totality. And that played a massive role. On ESPN, mm -hmm. not to cut you off, because yeah. I'm not mad at what you're saying, the totality mm -hmm. part, but on ESPN, that guy started saying prayers to the victims' families during OJ's passing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What are we talking? I don't understand that. I don't get it. And they don't do that anyway. No. The, to Mel's point, when these motherfuckers that be iffy get, pass away, they don't go and deep dive into their life in totality and is bring that, up all the dirt. That's that, not true. Does that anybody in true. here think that OJ did that? I don't. I don't. I don't know. I don't know either. I don't, I don't know. think he personally did it. I think that if he did do it, he paid somebody to do it. But I don't think he. I just want to hear y'all believe yeah. I do. You do. Mm -hmm. I do um, potentially subscribe to the uh, idea that it may have been his son the or son. something like that. The yeah. son. That always made the most sense to yeah. me. Yeah. It's just too much that points to the son. Yeah. And all that DNA shit. Yeah, it's my son. But anyway, I'm not getting into the conspiracy yeah, theory the aspects yeah. of it. But, no, I just, uh, I just think when reporting on somebody's death, especially somebody that's been acquitted, that had their day in court, and the first thing you do is bring that up, is nasty. And that's my problem. I man. mean, in Mad Podcast, I've come in here after someone uh, passed on, and I'm sad and disgusted with how y'all handled uh, the coverage of this person's passing. But it's too many years. That, that's the thing now. It's a trend. Y'all don't give a fuck about the dead. No. Y'all don't. It's a thing now. They like, wait for that moment to tap that dance. Y'all take that nigga back in, yeah. bring mm -hmm. up his worst moments in life. Mm -hmm. Like, death don't really mean what it used to for they me. Mm -hmm. they, if, they, if there's a reason for them to not like you, your death is celebrated. Yeah. Nigga, we Rest saw in with, peace. Remember what happened when Kevin Samuels passed? Nigga, we saw mm -hmm. with Kobe Bryant. Kevin Samuels didn't deserve none of that. Mm -hmm. They were literally celebrating Laughing. the second he passed. They were last announced. That's the other reason OJ was going to get off. If Kobe can't even die without the niggas taking pictures of, of him as the scene, so then, yeah, y'all trusting y'all to be thorough and diligent in a trial. No. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Y'all talking about y'all remember the case and remember the verdict, the good, and y'all remember Mark Furman up there too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> For sure. Yeah. yeah that was sure. juicy. That was juicy, Mark Furman. Yeah. It's, and I guess that's my problem. Mm -hmm. In America, fucking Furman is having, his coffee tastes better than OJ's does every morning. He's having a great day every morning. Kyle Rittenhouse, his coffee tastes good in the morning. Mm -hmm. Like, I guess that's the thing. I'm not here to really indict OJ. What you think about him is what you think about him. But in America, America was under the microscope. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is what it was. And OJ just happened to be a byproduct of that. Damn that game 594. <laughs> <laughs> Dog, we had all the momentum. <laughs> yeah. <All right. laughs> But, I mean, that says something, too. I ain't going to get into it on this broadcast, but y'all interrupted Game 5 of the 1994 NBA Finals to put OJ just driving on the Bronco? Yes. Whether he did it or didn't do it. But you want to know why. Whether, I don't give a fuck why. Whether he did it or didn't no, 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 do it. No, I'm going to tell you why. One of the main reasons why everybody was fucking tuning into that Bronco chase is because... We had developed like this bloodlust. Okay, you know what I'm you saying? Are ignoring what I'm saying. No, but I, go ahead. Okay, no. No, I want to hear the bloodlust. Part. Okay, we had to, we, we'd already had the Menendez trial that happened before this, and so we had to, and that was one of the first times that like a court proceeding from beginning to end was you know just was consumed by the public. Mm -hmm. Tell them us. And so, exactly, and so we had developed like this bloodlust. I would I would say that that was around the time that all that the true crime genre and court TV and all that shit, that's when it really fucking started and everybody developed like this real interest. So when we're watching this Bronco chase- They show that shit in Canada? What? All this shit. Yes. You keep yes. saying we. I'm serious. I'm yes, like, yes. that was uh, over a hundred million people watched the fucking OJ trial or or the verdict, I should say. Gotcha. But like millions and millions of people tuned in around the world. But the when it came to the Bronco chase, we I don't know if you were watching this for this for this purpose, but I was like, are they gonna fucking shoot up this car? Like fucking set it set it off? You know what I'm saying? Like I think that the, was the bigger thing that they were at least talking about at the time was that he had a gun and was going to hurt himself potentially that too mm -hmm. so a lot of people were tuning in to see if that was going to be the outcome whether it was going to be by his own hand or he was going to get lit up by that car so what do you think of the framing of that everybody can have all the bloodlust that they want but the shit was on tv first of all i think that says a lot about society she's right it does that says, say it, that says so much look, about us also at the same and, time this was around the rise of faces of death and uh, yep. banned from tv mm -hmm. like we 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 got to that point where we really enjoyed rock, watching rock, the train wreck. Rotten.com. Okay, no, I'm just saying, it, it was feeding None that. of y'all are replying to what I'm saying. Okay, The please. framing. Just the framing. I'm not talking about society's appetite for it. I'm talking about them interrupting coverage in Canada too now, I'm just learning, to say, hey, uh, one, of, one of the greatest athletes ever might blow his brains out and we're chasing him to protect him. We're going to try to get him. Just the framing of all of it just painted him a certain way before before any real information was uh, uh, revealed. That's true. Well, I mean, but, the, but the fact is they all, that this also happened in L.A. And that is very specific. L.A., and we were talking about this like a couple of pods ago about how over-fucking-dramatic shit is in L.A., where, like, they believe, like, everything is a movie. You know what I'm saying? And so I don't think that it goes down like that in a different city or state. I think it happened like that because L.A. is just, it's, it's entertainment culture. That's just it. And so this was a source of entertainment. And the fact that, the, the fact that we were con concerned that he was going to either blow his brains out or get lit up, and it's being seen and consumed as entertainment, is fuck it, it's vile it's and it's well, disgusting. Look, but with, with L.A., like even today, right now, if somebody don't pull over from the police and, and keep going and two, three cops jump behind them, the helicopter come out, there's a stream up. Mm -hmm. Like, that is culture out there. Like, I've watched them, actually. I watched the, the chases in L.A. They broadcast them right on Twitter now. And now you're talking about O.J. Simpson. Super celebrity, O.J. Mm -hmm. Simpson. This ain't just a regular person now involved in one of these. So, yeah, that coverage is going to now branch outside of just... LA. Now the, 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 the national networks are going to pick, hey, breaking news, we chasing OJ Simpson. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, like that's like, you know, uh, 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 I'm not going to say LeBron, but there's a, really a, nothing a, to a, compare a big, it to. A big celebrity athlete 
now gets into a police chase, the entire country is going to pick that up. Yeah, and the it world. It ain't even yeah. about framing them. It's just celebrity culture. It's, yo, y'all, everybody, we say this name, everybody know him. The cops are chasing him on the highway right now. Let's bring that live to you. Yeah, I disagree. Okay. I definitely disagree with that. What do you mean? L.A. is run by somebody. Every organization somewhere is run by somewhere. The CIA is run by somebody. The LAPD is run by somewhere. The fire department, the fucking government is mm -hmm. run by somebody. And those people normally move covertly so we can say things like, oh, well, L.A. is harsh like that. No, who is controlling it? Who is doing it? Who is making it so since N.W.A. up till now, this faculty has functioned this way? I don't think it's just as simple as, as well, hey, y'all Russia, hey, L.A., yeah. Nah, nah. I think if that, people, I think people, if, oh, I think people if, oh, control all this shit. Somebody if, somewhere controls all this shit. I think if that was Florida, there's budgets attached to this shit. Like this is this is big. It's big. I, I get that, but I'm saying I, even if that was Florida somewhere, Texas, you wherever, name another one of them. Oh, that's another one of them. Uh, shit, New York. Well, uh, bop, 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 but, but listen, <laughs> just hear me out. New York. If it's O.J. Simpson again, the the stature of the person is what I'm speaking on being chased by the police, that's going to be a big deal. It's going to be picked up. This is a national celebrity here. So if that were to happen, yes, all the news networks are going to pick that up. That's what I think. I don't think it had really much, it's, it's more an OJ thing. I don't think they're trying to frame him or have it look a certain way, but oh shit, OJ is being chased by the police on the highway. Mm -hmm. all right, we just have different views on mass media. That's all. But also, that's all. I mean, like OJ was complicit in this. In the, in the chase, he knew that he was going to get the coverage that he got. He knew that. By making this decision, he knew that. He knew he was a media fixture. You know, he knew that he was like a beloved figure in like television and movies and that sort of thing. He knew that he was going to get Mel this. Ford, there's not a black man in the world that think he could do what O.J. Simpson did on that highway with all of them cops behind him and allow him to get to his destination on hard. There's not a black man in the world. Have you watched any uh, LA, Have you watched any LA OJ chases? didn't. OJ really felt like he transcended race. He, he his he line did. is, I am not black, I'm fucking OJ. He's famous for saying that. Have you watched any of these LA chases? Regular people that I you don't even know that. the names of. They, uh, they clip that car? Sometimes. No, they don't clip that car. They, they're protecting the people around. They will just follow you. I'm talking about 20 cars. I, I watched them no, I believe as you. early, as recent as last week. But I've seen the ones where once they get all of the civilian cars out of the way, which they, they might pitch you, Sometimes they start to you. box you in. They do that box thing or they'll pitch where you. the people will get in or they clip the car. I've seen them yes. and they clip the car. They let OJ rock. A lot of times they stop clipping the cars because of injuries. Gotcha. Like they, even, in, even in Jersey, Newark, the, the task force used to ride around. They stopped that. You can't. Now it's no chase. It's just follow. It's just, what do y'all, I'm sorry, what do y'all, because I want to progress this. Yeah, yeah, what, yeah. what do y'all think of what Caitlyn Jenner had to say? I kind of saw your tweet, but that. I still want to hear. What'd she say? Um, uh, just she say, said, good, good riddance. Good riddance. Damn. And then, you know, I just put a tweet up and just reminded Caitlyn Jenner that you killed somebody. Yeah. Big dog. And, yeah. and you actually did. Yeah. Who she killed? Uh, she, 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 rear ended a car vehicular, and pushed the car. Vehicular homicide. Yeah, uh, vehicular homicide. Mm -hmm. Shit. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. So and 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 settled out, you know, paid a, I think it was like eight hundred thousand dollars or something, mm. but settled out. But yeah, my man, what, what are you doing? That's white arrogance, right there. Very Absolutely, much so. very very much. That's some different shit. Yeah, I, don't I mean they'll find they'll find the the the, the, the difference, but. Rest in peace, yeah. OJ, man. Yeah, a little yep. uh, outstanding. Or we, yeah, 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 for sure. For yeah, sure. Rest in peace, OJ, man. Let's, let's for do it how sure. we do I saw it, people man. getting mad at me. Yo, you're defending. I'm not defending anyone. He was already defended. Yeah. <laughs> that was my whole point. He I was, just don't think it's the time. Necessarily the first thing you have to bring up. That's all. That's, that's all. That's these people today. That's all I'm saying. I fucking say good riddance. Good mm, riddance. I was going to say, like, because some one of you brought up Kobe. And I thought that it was in very poor taste to talk about what Kobe had been accused of when we, when everybody, the coverage was, you know, coming out about, you know, the fact that he passed on. The legacy that you leave behind. Supersedes you. It does. And it's like, what is the last thing that people remember about you? You know what I mean? Kobe was 
a, a, a loving father and a husband. He was involved in his children's lives. He was doing all of these stuff. He was an Academy Award winner. It's just like when when he passed away, he was like on the cusp of like, you know, like, you know, the second half of his life. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But he left like an enduring, lovely legacy. After the trial, what do we know about OJ? Everything, nothing, nothing was on, nothing seemed to be on the up and up. He ends up going to jail for what, 17 years for armed robbery? Just, I do think that that's that was the uh, the OJ and Kobe uh, parallel is not. A it's it's, it's well, a look, fucking me, terrible. Me, it's a false equivalent, like a motherfucker. First look, of all, it's not. Can I ask? Can I can I ask you real yeah. quick? Yeah. It's for for a, a good group of people out there. It's what's the worst thing we remember you about when you pass? That's one. Mm -hmm. But bigger right than away, that. no matter who sorry, right, no matter who you are, what's the worst thing we remember about you? And we go immediately to that. There are some people that it don't matter. They don't have. They they could have never been affected by nothing you said or did. Mm -hmm. But what's the worst thing we know about you? Hey, let's highlight that. Just miserable people, fam. There are people mm -hmm. that diss Michael Jackson every day. Uh, mm -hmm. Mystic X lipstick. Uh, some of us knew her on Twitter. Mm -hmm. She was the astrology girl. Did a few readings. Had 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 a little following. Uh, she's been around for a few years. Mm -hmm. I followed her. I've spoken to her before. Did you? You know, I'm an astrology bird. Yeah. <laughs> so, okay. All you got to do with the moon is, oh, let me tell you. <laughs> let me tell you. The moon's <laughs> rising in Virgo. I, I okay. Need, I need a reading. <laughs> <laughs> let me see if this reading matches the last one I got. But uh, in some really, really, really disturbing news the other day, uh, this, this person murdered her boyfriend at 3 a.m. Uh, she had two kids, mm -hmm. one an eight-month-old. And the other one nine. And the other one nine. Mm -hmm. uh, she then took a ride with the kids while the nine-year-old was holding the eight-month-old. She pushed them out of the car on a highway. Mm -hmm. A truck hit, but we ain't going to talk about yeah. that yeah. part. Uh, and then she kept driving, and she sped into a tree. All parties dead. No, the, one not, of the, the children. Nine, the nine-year-old is yeah, still alive. Yeah. The nine-year-old is still alive. Oh, yes. my God. The nine-year-old survived. Oh, Lord. Um, no. Non-life-threatening non injuries, um, but, you know, what? the baby passed away. It, mm -hmm. It's an awful fucking story. It is just awful. And everybody's, you know, kind of talking about, you know, the eclipse and that sort of thing. I'm like, oh, my God, please stop. I think she alluded to she something said about that. She, she, she can allude to whatever she wants, but I'm sorry, I don't believe her. You're a mass murderer. No. I'm so it's To me, it's seeming maybe a little bit of, like, postpartum psychosis. The baby was only eight months old, so... I'm leaning more towards that might be what she was going what she was going through. I'm not gonna diagnose. Uh, yeah. I'm not, di yeah, I'm not diagnosing, but if any, but I'm not gonna blame it on the fucking eclipse. But, That's what I'm not gonna she, do. But she can blame. She she was literally saying the eclipse is coming. Y'all gotta make a choice. Like X Y Z is happening. Sounds a little bit like your you're your saying, your you're brain saying, has been compromised okay. chemically. Mumbo jumbo. Uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. I'm right. thinking that her her brain was compromised chemically, which is postpartum psychosis. That's what it sounds like to me. But yeah. I'm not a doctor. I'm not diagnosing. Okay. I guess that's it's, it's just yeah, a terrible... Yeah, yeah, that's gotta, out of my wheelhouse. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's yeah. just a terrible story it is. across the board. Yeah, I can't yeah. imagine any world where that happens. Where you, I'm going to agree with my, not in, not in terms of diagnosing someone, because I don't know, but if these are the decisions that you made, then I have to question where you're going. I'm you're actually, going to, I mean, and I didn't want to say anything because I wouldn't put nothing in the air. I'm actually shocked I didn't hear more of these stories of during the eclipse. Like there were, I remember before there were people, you know, the um, considering it like the rapture, stuff, like something is supposed to happen and we leave at that moment, and it, it, it was a lot of that being spoken about before. Oh, yeah, the superchargers. Yeah, all yeah. of that type. So oh, I, right. I, I just knew that with this eclipse, the way this one was. Like broadcasting, we have seen it, wasn't the uh, Charles Manson shit behind a eclipse or a comet or something shit like that? There's been a comet. yeah, a there's been things like comet. this. One yeah, of the, the shits, yeah, yeah. So I just, I just figured people would lose their shit when the eclipse happened. I'm, I'm glad we didn't get more of these stories. Hmm. You could have left the kid, man. Fucking morbid, bro. Leave the fucking kid. 
I just thought it was interesting, like, you You're know. The boyfriend of everyone. What are you yeah. like? <laughs> I just thought, it, like, the. Well, yeah, you could have left everyone. Yeah. I yeah. Want to sound and take yourself out. You know what I'm saying? But I, I thought it was interesting, like, you know, one, one part that was, you know, kind of like circling around social media is her follower count. There was like, she has maybe like over 100,000 followers or something like that. Mm -hmm. So then everybody, you know, you've got people piping up like, be careful who you follow and see you people oh blindly follow this person <laughs> and blah, 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 blah. And they're dispensing oh advice. God. Meanwhile, God. you know, like they're two sandwiches short of a fucking picnic kind of shit. Yeah, but those be my favorite people to follow sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> You can't tell me who not to follow. Somebody on here acting like a nutcase. Yeah, I'm in the follow. I might follow you. Yeah. I might watch you crash out on like. It's not like we all thought all of the astrology people had it all together. Fact. That part. <laughs> like. That part. One day we can come in here and tell the truth about what we think of the astrology community. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all ain't all beacons of light. No. <laughs> Good one. Or yeah, sip your little sanity. Tea. Yeah, sip your little tea. You down with them, too. You in astrology fucking... Not really. You uh, in... No, I've seen some crystals on your page before, I think. Yeah. <laughs> she got a dream catcher in the crib. Yeah. I do not have a dream catcher, but I do have a rose quartz. Mm. But I just... I bought it just in case. Just in case. Did you put it by the window at the eclipse? It, let it charge up? I did not. Okay. <laughs> I forgot. What is that? What are you saying? Rose quartz. It's a, it's a fucking it's a crystal. crystal. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I did not put it in. You the didn't charge it up. No, I didn't charge oh, it up. I forgot. So maybe it's maybe it's safe. Yeah. It's a lot of no. It's collecting dust on a shelf somewhere. Do you have a rose? I know it. D I know it. I heard it. <laughs> I heard it. You heard his brain I heard turning. It. That's why. I, that's why I went like this to Joe. I said, "Let it go." No, I, I don't. At first, I thought she said I, rose corpse. I'm like, you killed that shit. Up. <laughs> and then he's talking about sitting there and charge it up. I'm like, yeah. let it go. Oh, oh, my God. God. <laughs> you, know, you guys gotta get your heads out of the gutter. Uh, yeah. No, I don't have a rose. Okay. I have a Hitachi. Oh, the wine? Yeah. Those shits never burn. The wine ain't no joke. <laughs> you like it? I don't give a fuck, nigga. Nigga, be wanting himself. Wanting himself. himself. In the room, Yo, fake ass security uh. guard. <laughs> fake ass metal detector in itself. <laughs> Start beeping. Oh, oh man, this oh, shit. Wand. Oh, hachi, hachi. I didn't know we were getting the ice female sex story reviews today. Yeah, so when it start beeping, what you do? This nigga, ugh. you got to do the rose petals now. <laughs> <laughs> you 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 almost there. Oh, you a step man. away. Shit. Oh man. Oh yeah, that man. was a horrible story. Yeah, I'm yeah, not playing yeah, outstanding yeah, again. Yeah. I hope not yeah, to read terrible. or or see any more stories that are horrific. Mm -mm. Yes, yeah, honestly. Mm -hmm. uh, what else? What else? What else? What else we got? Okay, so. People Magazine does this issue called The Sexiest Man Alive, and it's wildly fucking popular. Wait, 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 wait. What? You think we don't know? So, you think just, some of the sexiest men alive don't know that they do this? I'm, I'm surprised you haven't been on the cover, actually. Me too, actually. I, it's shocking to me. Me too, now you're talking about I mean, it. right after Idris Elba should have been Joe Budden. Or before. Or before. <laughs> or before. It didn't need to be after. Or fucking before. Okay, so anyways, Essence Magazine's trying to get in on the well, action. you trying to be funny just now. No, absolutely. Yeah. Come on now. You're trying to be funny just no, now. No, she's no, trying no. to play. Yeah, she's she's trying. Trying. You, you think you're trying to call me Idris Elba? <laughs> <laughs> trying to call me some other shit? Right, Idris ahead. fucking Elba. Get this shit off, man. <laughs> anyway, so Essence Magazine's trying to get in, you know, in the action. So now they have this sexiest man of the moment. And they have crowned Usher... The sexiest man of the moment. What the fuck is the moment mean, though? I fucking, I don't know. That I don't know how true. long the moment lasts. He was the third. Hmm? He was third. He didn't win it. Oh. He was third. He was, th no, he wasn't. You was in there looking for the best. Russell Wilson was second. And, oh, sorry. Damson Idris was first. And Yeah, hello. Okay, well, these are the <laughs> sexiest. Like you don't know the these sexiest are the, men Sorry, these are the sexiest men of the moment. How do you know that? Because <laughs> I do a, one of the best broadcasts ever for the past oh, 10 years. So it's my job to stay informed on things. You should try it. These sometime. were the sexiest men of the moment. So, obviously, there's like, you know, an interview that comes along with it. And Usher, when he was asked who his childhood celebrity crush was, can you guess who it was? You, oh my god! I can't I'm guess. Scared. My guess would have been scared. flagrant. Yeah, mine too. My what guess. would your guess have been? Uh, I'd, have to bleep, I'd have to bleep. Yeah, my we'd guess. have to bleep my guess. What? Oh, come on now! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess you gonna bleep it. Y'all stupid. So, yeah. You gonna bleep, bleep it? it. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> okay. Well, no, it wasn't. Bleep mine too. On the <laughs> <laughs> it was neither one of those. It was. Uh, it was chilly. Cricket, cricket, chirp, chirp. Okay, so he's, you know, he just got married, right? 
Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, so he's mentioned her in more than one interview. So as his wife, shouldn't she be feel away? Well, you're like, a woman. You, you tell us. How would you feel? Yeah, if, I feel like I, I might feel away about the fact that not only was your, she your childhood crush, you got to actually, you know, live the moment and mm-hmm. date her for several years. Okay. And so now. That's here, the past. Yeah, exactly. So why are we still talking about the past they in our me, interviews? They asked me who my childhood crush was. Mm, you you could have. Maybe you had more than one. Well, it was. I don't. It was her. Yeah, it was her. And I, and I, and and I got I my that. crush. I did that. Yeah, I did it. She's not still my crush. Been there, done that, got the t-shirt. Yeah, he's talking about did. In the hat. Past. Yeah, I sold 10 million records off that. <laughs> <laughs> you think I ain't supposed to mention it? <laughs> she, you, see, I, you, you seen the Super Bowl? Okay, what? Yeah, I did. What are your thoughts on it? You sound like... Well, I just would kind of be like, I couldn't have picked anybody else. Like, mm. I had several childhood crushes. Like, I liked Al B. Sure and Christopher Williams at the same time. Well, because they're the same person. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? Raheem from Juice. Little cousin. <laughs> okay, so Mel has a type. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, but then it, you know, it went the complete opposite direction. Got it, got it. Uh, yeah. Yeah, couldn't bag your type. Shut up. <laughs> had to just take what was coming. <laughs> the detour. Had to change types. Because <laughs> they can't stay on this highway. Yeah, this ain't working. Oh, oh, All right, they, just gonna they get off. beating my ass <laughs> with, with my type. My it's... type not even, I'm not my type type. I got, I got, I'm not my type type. <laughs> what I learned, <laughs> I got to get a new type. <laughs> she totally avoided that. I didn't even like that no more. Yeah. I don't like them. She, yeah, yeah. Yeah, just, no. She went I over just... to the ultra chocolate side, saw that she was a vibe. <laughs> she was a vibe in the chocolate I'm, side. I'm, I'm welcome. Here? I'll be showing them niggas, man. Throw you to the fucking wayside. <laughs> that's not true. Uh, oh, oh, shit. Uh, uh, that's right, Mel. Tell these niggas. That's not true. All right. But okay, whatever. All right, I guess but I'm yeah. alone. Yeah, I guess I, I, I guess I'm alone. Where I would have felt away. Huh? You ain't fuck Albie Short. I did not fuck yeah, Albie Short well, because you lose. I, I mean, you lose. <laughs> when I had a crush on him, I was 12. So you know, there's that. Uh, then you grew up. Yeah, and, and he was still, and he's still alive. Yeah, yeah, and you still didn't get it done. Some but, people go back and get it when they, you know. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's me. Anybody I thought about at 14, 15, 16, 17, <laughs> when I hit 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, dumped, got him. How many of your crushes? Pac Man. How many of your <laughs> How many Yo, of your crushes? Have when you I had? learned, maybe you didn't have this moment in oh, early childhood, okay. but when I learned that the people I grew up liking, I could go get them, <laughs> I got them. I went and got them. I went and got him. I did. Hmm. Let me think. Yeah. There's yeah. only. Yeah. Yeah. There's only been one. There's only been one. <laughs> I saw that. What the fuck? What are you looking at me like why that for? You, why? How do I? Because you because you're giving me the side eye, like I'm the fucking hairy my, eyeball. I'm listening to my co-host speak. Okay. There's only been one that I had like a, an intense crush on that I bagged. Okay. So how many did you have the crush on that you didn't bag? Man, let them know. <laughs> Damn, you let Al be short down. <laughs> I kind of wanted a crush to say a crush for for the most part, you know? Because, right. you know, right, they back, can't. Back to Usher and Chili. All right, so what do you think about Usher and Chili? A lot of times they can't live. A lot of times they can't live up to who you, you know, built them up to be in your head. Don't right? shoot it. Don't shoot it, my brother. I- <laughs> Watch yourself, Missy. <laughs> I'm not shooting. All right. I'm Give just, you a podcast take, but don't shoot it, ish. I'm not shooting. Oh, he lived shit. up to it, nigga. What the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, he lived up to it. <laughs> fuck, yeah. What's up? What's up? We here. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, yeah. So, anyways, that was that. So, you're, again, so I, I think that's an insecurity thing if the wife is um, feeling some sort of way. Okay. Like, you beat the game, you got the ring. She did. Mm. Mm. That's my opinion. Mm. Got it. Okay. Insecure. Yeah. Don't be the wife to step off of your pedestal. 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 <laughs> <laughs> pedestal. Yeah, pedestal. Don't be the wife to step. Yeah, yeah, come on, come on, come on. But I mean, like, how would you feel if it was in reverse? You, you know, your your wife is, you know, sexiest so woman of the, you know, of the moment mm-hmm. in GQ, I don't know, and she's giving in. Oh, no, 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 let her finish. She's please, she's please. giving an interview, and they please. ask her about you yeah. know childhood crush, and mm-hmm. it was somebody that she actually dated. Would the, you? The first two words you said were <laughs> your, your wife. wife. She's my bitch. <laughs> no wife. Wife. <laughs> no, no, but no. that too. No, no, that too. <laughs> yeah. What you talking about? I got her. I got her. Okay. 
King, but white, what? Okay. So this is basically like an ASAP Rocky Drake kind of thing? I won. Yeah. I didn't say anything. Okay. Got it. That's what I think. Okay. Okay. Tell Y'all me. concur? I'm, I'm Everybody concurs? Yes? Mm-hmm. Yes? You? Uh, I wasn't even listening. <laughs> <laughs> As soon as, as soon as y'all started talking, I just started thinking about some of them Hollywood niggas that was in my way. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking wavy hair having ass niggas in the way. Dirty Mac and two y'all Hollywood dudes talking about me. We ain't never even met, nigga. What's my man name? What's my man name? Shit on him. Nah, I'm not going to shit on him because there's no need to do that today. But my man, damn. Give me one hint, I'll tell you. No, you know, yeah, we know his name. No, you know him. Well, well, it's a friend of yours. Oh, shit. He's a okay. friend of yours. Okay, give me a TV show, movie. What? Uh, uh, you think I was well-researched on the niggas <laughs> whose bitches I was taking? Where, <laughs> give me a hint. All right, we figured it out off mic. <laughs> <laughs> figured it out off mic. Salute. Yeah, that nigga was, Salute. Salute. That nigga was Wait, going, what were you saying? That nigga was going to tighten you up. He was mad at me. For oh, me. I know. <laughs> See? But that's back to mine in your earlier conversation about how, how niggas could... I've never met him, mm-hmm. never spoke to him. She told some lies. And he feels he felt a way. Mm-hmm. Hmm. You did not And I was in his way a lot. You ain't returned the energy, though. <laughs> I was in his way a lot. He, he, he tried yeah, to get you back. There's, I could never return probably, the energy, nigga. I, I won all you the time. Are, <laughs> you guys, I'm you in the situation. That but that a, don't mean I don't understand how a nigga could be angry or mad when you meet him. Is that an Eskimo brother situation? That was the same thing with me and fucking who came up here when we was talking? LaShawn McCoy. Yes. It's the same exact thing. But that's based on girls lying. Yes-ish. I know. I'm just saying. But y'all didn't carry it on like these goofs. Mel, could you believe your friend was in my way all them times? I mean, you guys... He, he, he you, bags them, too. Yes, he does. And you guys have similar tastes. Yeah, he, they like. Y'all you believe would that, that be considered an Eskimo brother situation? Of course, that's what it is. Yes. Okay. Yeah, well, yeah. then yes. By definition, he's Eskimo yeah. related. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh. Oh. Couch height. Oh. oh. <laughs> I'm trying to just. Go yeah, ahead, I'm let trying. Yeah. Let, let it go. Let it go. Let it go. <laughs> let it go. Let it go. <laughs> Might be Esco- Eskimo in laws. Oh. Oh shit. Oh. Uh-oh. Yeah. Yeah, I mean. Uh-oh. Mm-hmm. Find out I'm Eskimo in-laws with that nigga. Mm. Yo, that's crazy. When you start going through the Eskimo brother cycle, <laughs> I had the white van. <laughs> <laughs> I had to take it there. You gave me no choice. <laughs> you gave me no choice. Why are you sitting there all googly eyes? Yeah, I yeah, know. She, 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 she let it show. Whoa. No, no, no. Yo, no, 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 no. 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 Yeah. no. Ask them. Your Damn. jaw all on the floor. Yeah. Get your jaw up off the floor. No, it's just because I'm replaying a lot of stuff in my head. Are we back? 1108? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no. Just in terms of I the mean. overlappage between him and him. Um, yeah. Yeah. He talked shit about me to you? He did not. He did not talk shit about you to me. All right. Mm-mm. Yeah. So you said that you always came out on top in that situation. How would I know if I always came out on top? You I'm know. talking you shit. You always, yeah. Yeah, well, you would never know. I'm just talking shit. Okay. Okay. Listen, the, when I feel like I came out on top, I already assume that 40% of the time somebody else came out on top. <laughs> Or, or they thought, <laughs> even in that situation, you thought you came out on top and he probably thought he came out See on top See how too. my brain works? As long as she got on top, we I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't care, yo. I am front. I'm one of the best that ever did it broke. You are. That's a fact. I'm one I, of you the are. best that ever as did it broke. That's true. Yeah, I agree for with sure. Because as we sit there talking, I'm like, oh, shit. I broke it. And Saturn. And, and got him. I was in the Saturn plane with you. Tell Duke. Tell him. Te- hey, hey, text Duke. Text, yo, Duke. text Duke. Let him know. No, no, yeah. really text him. But yeah, you know what I mean? Anyway, uh, all right, so what do y'all know? We don't care about fucking Chili and Usher. What no, if, was yeah, there a takeaway no. from Chili and Usher? No. no. Who, gives, who gives a fuck? What did you think about the top three sexiest men? Come on, it's your segment. Oh, yeah. Um, you grade him. Damson Idris, yes. Russell Wilson, mm, he's cool. I, I'm not putting Who are your top three? If you had to pick three and you Ooh. had to put the list together yourself right now, 
Who's your top three? Oh, yeah, God. Come on. Appeal no. to the four girls. She's not going to tell. <laughs> no, because, I mean, it's, it's going to be interracial. So <laughs> we knew that. What is it? What's, <laughs> we knew that. Yeah. What's, what's the problem with that? <laughs> you don't. Look at <laughs> you. Don't really, you don't really get. Hello. I love black men. <laughs> I do. Oh wait, this was on. Fuck <laughs> you. I do. Nothing about you saying, "Hey, it's gonna only be a black." <laughs> well, I mean, I like variety. I know. Call them variety. That's a good clue way to clean it up. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. Like All right, var- bitch box. Hey, Shut the fuck up. Variety. Okay? <laughs> variety. Exactly. I like. I like variety. I don't just you know i'm not like you know race specific all right so who's your three um shit top of my list right now sorry his name Stone is Stone Cold Steve Austin no <laughs> no his name Bill is Murray no <laughs> fuck off <laughs> he's funny he's funny yeah. he's funny <laughs> that's why it's nice as a human Aaron Taylor Johnson is the top of my list right now all right. They got all three all right. of the niggas. Yo, so the cool. sleepers. You got sleepers. Uh, what else? What else? He's gonna Anything be the new James Bond. Okay. Yeah. Is it? Uh, all right. Uh, <laughs> Jeezy and his wife. What are they fighting over custody? Uh, yeah, apparently. So he he's fighting. He's trying to get oh, full custody. Full, full parental custody. Mm-hmm. Give me that baby. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Okay. It's my favorite part of the court battle. When the nigga want the baby, yep. <laughs> they never plan for that one. Hey, full custody, hell no, me. I can arrange the better life, nanny. I make more, better schools, better health. Why is this bum bi- Not <laughs> Gene, I'm just talking about in general. Mm. Yeah. Ooh, that's always fun. When the nigga step into court as a full responsible man, ready, up, and up, 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 up. I've had a, tra- a tracker on her for the last eight months. Look at all the weed she's been smoking in front of this baby. <laughs> she's been drinking St. Ives in front of this baby. All her little ghetto ass friends been around breathing Twer- on my twerking. baby, twerking, <laughs> passing my baby all around these germ infested hands. No, get that fucking baby. <laughs> I love this part of the battle. That's good. Yeah, what's up? What y'all think? No, you only love you only love it when you got bread. You don't got the maternities. Sit your black ass down, Mr. Button, please. Mr. Button, I, 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 you're in. I, yes, Your Honor. When you got good lawyers, you could come in there like you got 15-inch dick. When you ain't got no lawyers, you sit your fucking monkey ass right down there and fold your hands. I feel like 15 inches of dick would get in the way. <laughs> <laughs> really, really cause some problems in that day-to-day life. Yeah, that's good. Dead ass. You sit, you sit the fuck down, you don't got no money. You got some money, you go in there talking big shit. You well, yeah, because they judge a man by how much money he makes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You still ain't getting that baby, though. Yeah, it got to be some wild you shit. You still ain't getting that baby. baby. Yeah, the nigga didn't want the baby. You just, <laughs> you, you just trying to throw the threat out there. <laughs> you, you, ain't, you just trying to fucking give her some gray hairs. The nigga didn't really want <laughs> Hello? Duh. <laughs> Stupid. Oh, you, <laughs> ain't no nigga that asked for the baby wanted the damn baby. <laughs> you shitting me? You said something about um, accusing her of setting of I guess like a fake picture or something with she set up a baby. scenario where the baby ha- had the a picture of the baby with one of his guns but excuse me and um, how say. old's the baby She's like young young like a now time flying now baby seven <laughs> uh, <laughs> baby probably like two or three right? yeah I was gonna and the baby was holding the, the ratchet or just it was near the baby oh, okay. to try to make it seem like he has the baby in an unsafe environment uh, so you just happened to have a photographer there when the gun was out and the baby was in the proximity of the gun. Wait, they took a picture? And they took a picture. They took a picture? Yeah. Okay. So rather than move the gun away from the baby, it's take the picture with the gun yeah, by the still, baby still, still, still. and then... Don't move. Hold still, then still, move. still. Like, right. come on. That's the, now, that's my worst part of this is when the wife got to get in there or the, the girl, the baby mom got to get in there and paint the man to be the worst father in the universe. That's just crazy. All that shit that you was attracted to about dude, now you writing down in the court. And he got guns and now he smoke weed. He's fucking, oh, it's a party house. He always mm-hmm. partying all the time. Mm-hmm. He always outside. Mm-hmm. And oh, so on man. the flip side, Jeezy's accusing her of leaving her basically with her relatives and she's basically an absentee mom. That's on page three of the what's she going to do after y'all after y'all break up and she gets the baby hand, manual. That's right there on page three. What is? She's leaving that she baby, baby around every relative every- in the universe while she go outside. Mm-hmm. So, Ice. Mm-hmm. What right, is, so we so skip all the shit I'm saying. What Don't is, worry about it. 
Ice. Let's see if no, ice. Is I can see this is a sore let's, subject yeah, in the room. Let's, yeah, let's see if I, <laughs> let's see if I'm ice right now. Like, no, I was gonna <laughs> say like there's a lot of shit. People are talking a lot of shit about this right now. Listen, can you, when y'all answer, I, I'm sorry. I, I don't wanna. That's a topic that I just. Oh, it's um, sensitive. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Is it sensitive for everybody in the room? I think so. No. Judging by fuck. not me. Oh, okay. I don't care. It's not sensitive for me. I'm a professional. Okay. Uh, there's no culture clash with me when I was beefing my first baby mom she was a black woman I was beefing with like we black so that's fucked up <laughs> like it ain't a culture it ain't a um, what I took from it um, we were talking off mic I took from um, this I think he's starting to I'm assuming I think he's starting to see the culture clash she might like blacks but your family might not fuck with these niggas you get what I'm saying and I think he might start to run into that I mean that'd be cool that would be cool if she didn't go on her daytime television show and say I don't like black men no she didn't say that she likes her she likes her dark meat on the side that's what the fuck she said she likes her dark meat on the side and there was no question as to what the fuck she meant about that and at the time she was married to a white man so let's be clear what's the difference in what you said and what I said because I could like black men and I just can't publicly like black men a lot of people especially in a a bunch of um I've had Hispanic girls tell me I can't bring you home. I've had a lot of people say, yo, they fuck with the blacks, but they don't fuck with the blacks in the front of their family. You can't bring these niggas home to daddy. Remember the Donald yeah. Sterling tapes with, mm-hmm. with the conversation? Remember what he was telling Shorty? Like, yo, you could fuck with them, but you don't have to be seen with them. They whole thing was like, if you're dealing with somebody black. And y'all think if somebody likes, I, thank you, I got oh. that, I comprehend. And y'all think that if those are somebody's views about fucking a black dude or seeing a black dude on the side, that they do like and fuck with black people. Yes, I know people that I, I've I, I like. Say yes, okay. Yeah, I'm just Look, no, no, I'm I'm about, no. I'm about to I'm give you an example. Answer. No, I'm about to give you an example. One of my homegirls is Albanian. <laughs> Go no, ahead. I'm serious. Yeah. One of my homegirls is Albanian, and her cousin had a baby by a black dude. The whole family disowned the whole family. Nothing. Father, mother, everybody cut her off. So a lot of times, whatever your likes may be, you can't necessarily can't explore those. Yeah, you can't do it. They can't force home, you can't be into seen certain, publicly. Yeah, like yes, you, you got to do. You have. You almost do to you your. You have to your like your family or your network, whatever. Yeah. You got it. Has to be a secret. Yeah, mm-hmm. that happens, dog. I'm hey, let's, let's let's take it to the black households. No disrespect to nobody, but homosexuality wasn't always open back then. That's true too. So if you liked something, you might really like, you could be a girl that liked another girl or a guy that liked another guy. You knew you couldn't bring that person home. You sure. had to keep it tough. You had to That's do it in secret. You had to That's be right. quiet about it. Same thing. You could really like this, but you know the people that you live with your, or your, your loved your, ones. Your, yeah, your loved ones can't find out that sure. this is what you like. You know that when you have a baby with someone, it now integrates families. Correct. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Agreed. But hold on well, one second here. A lot of people don't accept things. that, Joe. Or a lot, a lot of, of people, people don't what? accept that. I just gave you a, a scenario. This is a true no, story. No, I know. Oh. No, I received that. And I acknowledge that. What I'm saying is when your partner is on record saying, I like my dark meat on the side, mm-hmm. and then you have a baby, which takes it off the side, mm-hmm. and then the behavior start to change once mm-hmm. we separate, and we start seeing maybe some of even if it's not your real views, maybe your family's mm-hmm. real views. Because that, was, that, was that happens often too, right? Yes. You break up and now Shorty got the whole family just pouring in her ear. Yep. Mm-hmm. She taking it out on the dude that she used to love, right? All I'm saying is when you start to see that behavior manifest, can't be a shock. Not at all. Can't be a shock. If you started with, I like my black meat on the side. Exactly. And to me, you know, liking black people... Okay. To me, there's a whole a lot of times women of other races they fetishize black women black mm-hmm. men true. they true. just do absolutely and so just the fact that she quote unquote fell in love with w- fell in love with a black man and got married to black man doesn't necessarily change like what she innately thinks or believes you know what I'm saying mm-hmm. especially especially if yeah. that's the culture that she grew up in it's possible. believing yeah. that white is right. You know, but, her first husband was a was a white man. But we, we're giving her those. Beliefs. And then also, if this is a doctored photo, the choices that she made in doctoring the photo, well, in, in you ter- know what I mean? What it just leans right into the whole, you know, kind of stereotypical idea of a black man, a rapper, so, and a rapper, right? Street, so, 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 so what, what, street. what they were. 
what it was saying was Jeezy said he moved into the basement of the, the house that they had mm -hmm. after they split up. He kept a gun down there, you know, intruder. My family's still here in case something happens. And legal, right, legal. They t took the baby down and just took the picture. Not doctored, but like staged. Staged, okay. Yeah, so, which is still not right. And is this you're in just the trying to make it seem like the kid is unsafe. There's guns just out about and the kid can get around the guns. This country has some nerve fucking talking about gun ownership and shit like that. It's always a problem when a black person owns a gun. That's really what the fucking issue is. Like that, of course. That's... Yeah. That's because them laws wasn't written for us. None of that. That's a that's whole different That's diabolical to, 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 to stage a picture like that. Yes, that is, is fucking sick. Some wild shit. Yeah. It's me versus you, and I'm going to do what I got to do to win. Mm-hmm. Nasty. When 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 it, bro, we've seen you hear divorce game stories, you hear mm -hmm. custody game stories. When it's me versus you, the gloves is All off. All bets is off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's whatever. By any means necessary. Well, you know? a lot of people are, you know, kind of. The, a lot of the chatter is the fact that it's like, well, you married her, you married into this, you knew how she felt. You know, it's like that's what we were talking about off, you know, off camera. The whole like, you know, guess who's coming to dinner thing. You don't agree? But you you could. She could have said those comments, him, him dealing with her, she could have shown him a different side. She could have, you know, some people grow. It could have been, I recognize the ignorance in that and I, had, I may have changed. And if he believes that and he falls in love with this, with this woman, then yeah, they, he could have thought they had something. Now we get married, we have a child. Now the child changes a lot in a relationship one. Mm -hmm. And in certain um, traditions and customs, the family now plays a very major role in the child. Mm -hmm. So now that could have, we don't know, it's all speculation, but it could have been a lot of, okay, your family is dictating a lot that's going on in this household and I ain't signed up for that. Now and, we got problems. And every time we hear something about them, her family comes into the, mm -hmm. the uh, article. Mm -hmm. It's always- Like I haven't heard family. anything about them without her family coming into the article. Same. So- I mean, the, the clash of the cultures definitely could be a problem. Let me ask y'all, is, is there anybody that y'all might not have been able to bring home? No. No, definitely. No. Nobody? No. no. Nope. A dog. <laughs> a snake. I could have a snake in the house. No, a, tad, I know. a tadpole. I know, <laughs> I know if I bought a, you know... Boy, to bring a vegan to the Big Mama house, it's going to be some problems. <laughs> vegan, you bring said. a vegan, man. Bring a vegan. I got that girl talking about she don't eat no meat. Look how skinny she is. Yeah. She need to eat some meat. Bring a, no disrespect. Bring a Muslim chick there. Is it pork in this? Big Mama is from <laughs> a in North Carolina. It's pork in this. And she's going to be offended that you ask. So, yeah, they, they let us know. Don't bring none of them people here can't eat what, what That's that I cook. That's dog. I'm sorry. I have a really quick part of the show for y'all. Okay. Yeah, we can get right into sleepers. Let's yes, do it. Sir. Uh, who's this guy? D. Brentley. What's up, D? What's up, D? Hey, D. Sad. This will be fast. Uh, you okay. Gotta say what's up. Uh. Is it nasty work to lust over your partner's girlfriend or boyfriend? Wait. Huh? Your partner. Is it like nasty work to lust over your partner's friends? Oh. Oh. Uh, that, oh, that that happens. That, that, that changes like some things. Changes a lot. That changes some like, things. Yeah, I didn't see that. <laughs> Like your partner got sexy ass friends and you like their IG posts and look at their stories and be like, damn, I want parts. <laughs> okay. Is, that, careful now, buddy. is that nasty work? For example, <laughs> Joe. Give me an example. See, no, I knew I wasn't off. When Miss Ice posts them sexy ass pics, do you be like, damn, I'd love to. Come on, man. I'm not even reading this. Oh. Or Joe, <laughs> wow. would you be upset if Ish, Ice, or Flip liked an overly sexual pic of your lady? Is that nasty work? Oh, that's or nasty is it work. some shit like, that's just bro or sis and I just like the pic? Then for Mel, should a woman be upset or feel away if her man is constantly liking her friend's pics and showing up in their story views? Is it peace or is it up? It's fucking up. Really? Yes. Yes. Let's see why you ain't got no man. That's not like you sound like a headache. You ain't about to get no man. No, God damn it, girl. Mm -mm. You got to loosen this shit up. You You mad about everything. <laughs> <laughs> Don't bring up God, God damn it. I mean, 
She is a tough walk in the park. The overly <laughs> sexual pick, I would say, yeah. yeah. But if a nigga just like he know my girl and he like her pics, mm-hmm. or my I know my man's girl and I like their pics, I don't think it's wrong. My wife's friend group is beautiful and I like their pictures, but if it is something like a thirst trap pic, yeah, yeah, I stay I away, from, stay away from, from that. But that that's what I was thinking. But a regular pick, I'm liking the pick. Like, yeah, I'm no, not, they're my friends. Is like, if it's a regular pick, I don't, I don't give a shit about oh, that. Okay. But it's, traps? A, but it's if it's thirst traps, mm-hmm. I'm like, have you lost your cotton pick and fucking mine? No. Yeah, because we ain't seen Sabrina since. Can you say cotton? <laughs> <laughs> she brought Sabrina up here one the, little time. The, the, that was the black side of me talking. <laughs> oh, all right, all right. Okay? Yo, is Sabrina alive? She is fucking alive. Is she, she okay? She is great. She when is, she came up here and felt the vibes, she's she like, is in she's out of here. She <laughs> followed all of us. We followed back, liked some pics. It seemed like we was moving and grooving. <laughs> and then it was like... Get your ass out. Yeah, it was like something happened. She is living in Florida. No, Ironically, that has never stopped me before from anything. Well, I mean, I've told Florida. her. I've, that was an incentivized thing. I've invited her to come up. Oh. Yeah, she's just doing her thing. She got her real estate license, you, you know. You are hating. I'm not kidding. <laughs> you know, I just want to say, I don't mean to call you that. You know, I take it back. I mean it with love. But you, I mean, man, you I are love, I think you are double right that guy. I love <laughs> Sabrina. I love no, Sabrina. No, no, we know that you do. <laughs> I do. I love Sabrina. I've told her to come back up. She's in Florida right now. She's doing her thing in Florida. And when she comes back up here, she'll be back up here. Okay. You won't know. Uh, excuse me? <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? That, now you're about, hey, you about, you about to make a mad. Hey, we'll, we'll let you know when she back up Oh, you'll up let here. me know when my friend will be back up here. <laughs> See what I mean? Hey, 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 hey. Next. <laughs> <laughs> Hab. <laughs> she see that story post like, wait, you in New York? No, Mel is a hater, yo. But women be haters. Hey, Mel, would you be mad? Yes. What? Let if, me. Ha- if what? Yo, if you time. if you looking on Instagram time. and you see her post and she's in, in, New, in York. New York location, smoke a hookah with the bros. With the bros. With the bros. But you, that's how you found out, though. I think that was interesting <laughs> that so, she didn't tell me and she just automatically clicked up with you and I find it was very interesting of you motherfuckers to go hang out with her but you can't hang out with me. Why we gotta be motherfuckers? Because that would be some motherfucker behavior. Interesting. Hopefully y'all enjoyed this show as much as we enjoyed delivering it to you. Hopefully I didn't break any hip hop news or report any hip hop news for y'all to fucking (laughs) drag my name through the mud this week. Joe said on Friday it's going down. That shit is- Joe said they're gonna kill each other. He heard it. He heard it. <laughs> Joe heard it and said for a fact, blood will be shed. <laughs> oh my god. Hey. Mm-hmm. Yo, before yo, we go, yo. Before we go, did y'all see the Sixers statue? Sixers Allen Iverson. No. no. Well, I was wrong with it. He it's just tall. Oh, nah, they gave him a Heisman. Yes, <laughs> it look it's, it's about the height of that. Where is it? At the um, it's in Delaware. <laughs> the <laughs> fucking <laughs> arena, they bro. In Philly. Shit in Chester. It's like Baltimore. Bro, niggas, you know what a statue supposed to be when it was. A, they had a whole unveiling for that. That shit got there sitting in the back of somebody's car. Why well, do you want the statue to look for niggas that never won? Oh, I'm asking you know, a question. You know. I'm just asking a question. We got we got square up. <laughs> That'll be my square up. I'm asking you, niggas that never won supposed to get like they real height. Good. <laughs> my bad. All right. My bad. They play my man out first. They gave him that little ass boat for the retirement, and now this. Oh, that's a great idea. I'm gonna have somebody make miniature statues of you guys for when we walk in. Nobody seems excited about that. I'm really excited really? about I'm, that. I'm just trying mini statues of us. Yeah, like that. What if they give Mel Viola face again? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. What if I'm trying to help you out? That would be hard. But That'd be terrible. It was funny that she thought that didn't look like her. Like you have made that face at least nine million times <laughs> since he drew that thing. Now I do agree he could have chosen a more flattering. Flattering picture of such a beauty icon. What you think, Ish? Um, I think that'll be a dope idea. That size? That's dope. No, I meant about the... She said she don't think that look like her. I, I have no idea. Okay. I didn't even see that. Ish ain't even look at her since she's been hired. <laughs> 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 you think Ish ain't even looking at her? 
He don't know how she look. <laughs> <laughs> he don't give a fuck about 1108. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga will go in there and trash that bro. <laughs> fuck that bro. Fuck hey, hey, all this shit, nigga. Hey, that nigga go in here, drink all the little miniature alcohols in the fridge, <laughs> eat the Pringles, <laughs> fuck the sheep's up, 1108. <laughs> Oh, I can man. see Asian 1108 hating too. Uh, I think they got no balcony. They got a I'm, I'm, mm. You ain't do. <laughs> <laughs> <All right>. Careful, <laughs> careful. <laughs> yeah, I got in with a little SH. <laughs> Started with SH, ended with SH. A little bit of SH. Keep the SH going. Uh, listen, man, hopefully y'all have enjoyed this broadcast as much as we uh, have enjoyed delivering it to you. Keep us in your prayers. Lord knows. <laughs> Pray for me for sure. <laughs> If you forget anybody, keep me in your goddamn prayers. I am <laughs> sick. I am sick. Uh, but keep all of us in your prayers. Lord yes. knows we need to be there. Until the next time, we bid you adieu. Farewell. Adios. Arriva. Dirty. Hasta la vista. Au revoir. Remember, life is a series of beautiful moments. This shit happens fast. It is fragile. It is quick. Be blessed. Be grateful. Spend every day like it is your last. Tomorrow is not promised. Mm -hmm. I say that next to one of the greatest procrastinators in the world. <laughs> My man. <laughs> Forget it. Uh, weekend plans, anybody? Anybody? Any fun? Any fun? Any fun plan? Might be Not outside. Too yeah. Might be outside. 70 degrees on Sunday. Might take a little road trip. We'll really? see. Mm -hmm. Maybe free. So let's see where the wind takes. Not me. She did that fucking yeah, switcheroo. Yeah, she, no, she got you. She saw the weather. Our weekends was the same. Yeah. She did the switcheroo on yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. The weather. She the did weather. that. Mm -hmm. Gave me the rain. <laughs> it's cool. <laughs> Anything for the name of my baby. You my like child, my child comes That's first. It. That's it. You like the rain though. My child comes first. It's all about the kids. Mm -hmm. well, they, that, they're the future. That's it. That's it. Oh, I got so many rants I could want to go on. <laughs> so many rants. Like I had to tap out a little early. I apologize for that. But yeah. And don't know. you know all my babysitters is out of town? Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's like together. This is a coordinated attack. Yeah. <laughs> My fucking mom, dad, and Jackie they fucking picked up together. Oh, shit. And went and dipped. They on the tree here. Yeah. They on the oh, Pop, shit. Jackie, mom, fucking, they friends. Oh, wow. They went fucking drove somewhere, hopped on a boat. So I, I don't have that's nobody that's else. Kind of, that's kind of fly. I don't have nobody else that'll watch my kid. You know what that means? Time to get acquainted with this stranger. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> hey, hey, Corey. Yo, hey, you know how to work the button, right? You know how to call Corey on a Saturday night. <laughs> hey, hey, Big Doe, you home tonight? <laughs> I'll be there. Yo, you sleep already. Yo, you can't even do much. Yo, yo, <laughs> yo hey, I'm going to put him to bed. He's going to be asleep. I'm going to put him to bed. All you got to do is listen and out. feed him. Oh, yeah, that's it. That's it. Put that nigga on the couch. He don't even wake up like that. Oh, man. I'm going to leave the iPad with you. You got it. You know what I mean? And some potato chips. <laughs> little, little nigga eating the I'm going to have my ringer up. Oh, Call me. Man, yo. I never thought it through. Like, I never thought my mom, dad, <laughs> yeah, and, and Jack. I had three. Right, right. The big three is done. <laughs> it's done. Now you got to spend time with your kid. And that's when your phone be on. 70 degree. Fire. This is my <laughs> Play. Oh shit! Imani, Imani said that's when he hit you with the FaceTime. You heard? <laughs> Look. Yo. <laughs> Our phones? Gonna, anybody phone gonna be on fire this weekend? Or oh, not even on fire? We too old for on fire. So, anybody phone with a lightweight traction? Anything? Nah. Nope. Nope. No. It's just a seventy degree, yeah, seventy man. degree day in New York. Yeah. We assassins, man. We'll never tell y'all. We never tell y'all. What phone? My phone is lit. I, I, mean, I don't <laughs> even got a phone. My phone belong to my girl. I ain't got no phone. Just her phone. I just hold yeah, it sometimes. Just, that's, that's, it. It. that's it. Thank her for being so kind. Fact. <laughs> yeah. She told me I better not let it die. <laughs> thank, thank you. Thank you, Bill. <laughs> Mel, what's up with you on this weekend, huh? Um, just some brunch plans with the girls. <laughs> so now she's going to brunch. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Yo. 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 That's fucked up. That's respectful. No. You invited Imani? I invited Imani somewhere. <laughs> but was it to brunch? I mean, he can come with me and the aunties if he wants to. Yo, <laughs> he can come with me. And the aunties. You don't even hear how she tried to downplay it. She tried to downplay it. it. 
Yeah, 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 Mm-hmm. They trying to make this man shut up. They just don't care now. They just don't give a fuck what you talk about. So stupid, yo. Oh shit! Can I come with my kid? Hmm? Can I come with my kid? Where? Look, yo. <laughs> Mel don't fuck with us. I know. I know y'all been saying in the comments that we don't fuck with her. She don't. Mel fuck with does us. not fuck with us. I, I hate do. to tell y'all this. No, Some of us know it. I have been trying to get you guys to come to a Pilates class forever. No, but, <laughs> Mel, I got, we got dicks. <laughs> and we got dicks. There's people with penises in the Pilates no, class. No, he said Debatable. dicks. <laughs> he didn't say penises. We have Debatable. dicks. All you had to do is tuck it. You'll be fine. That's the point. All right, y'all be... Y'all, we'll see you y'all guys, next time. Yo, 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 yo. <laughs> yeah, all that. What are you talking about? What? <laughs> Who was that that came on here and said, Sade was selling books? <laughs> Who did that? No. Oh, that was Amani. It was not me. That was Amani. I was fighting that shit. Oh. <laughs> he threw me right in. the Joe, you never heard that rumor? <laughs> <laughs> he my man, so I ain't leave him on the island yet. No, I heard that back in the 80s. <laughs> if Sade was there. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> No, what? but check, but check. All right, this has been great. Listen, yeah. listen, man. Out. Wow, we'll be back Wednesday. Man. Wednesday, we'll be right here. Oh, <laughs> uh, man. Some takes, some opinions on things. What's huh? what going for? Are any of the aunties that are going to be at the brunch? Do any of them look better than you? I don't do that with my friends. <laughs> what? Don't look at me. I don't do that. I don't do that with my friends. They're all beautiful. <laughs> What? <laughs> Play the goddamn song. <laughs> JBP. <laughs> JBP. Nah, that's like when the white people get on the TV talking about, I don't see race. <laughs> yeah, you know I don't me? care if she was green. I, I, I don't even see beauty. Right? I don't have eyes when it comes to my friends. I don't know which one of these heifers is the ugliest <laughs> and which one does the best when it's, you know what I mean, when it's time to get to, I mean, I don't know which girls I can call when I got a couple of studs around, some guys, guy version of studs, not the other version. <laughs> or who to bring around when it's, you know, you know. Who's the baddie in your crew? Uh, I spend most of my time. Oh alone. God! Here we go. Here we go. I spend most he's of my always time. got. He's always got a way to slither out of the. I do spend end most, of the situation. but I'm not trying to. I'm trying to answer you because okay. I'm a brilliant okay. potter. Go ahead. I do spend most of my time alone, mm-hmm. and I don't coordinate outings with any of my friends. Oh my God! He avoided the fucking con- the question. He avoided it. How? Who's the baddie in your crew? I didn't just answer you? No, you didn't. You avoided it like the plague. Oh, then I don't have eyes. Oh, God. <laughs> hard for me to see. Hard to get a ticket. Hard, hard, it's hard for me to see. Pay the fuck. When I bump into Ish outside, we both act like the baddies. When I bump into Ice outside, he's protected by a million Muslims, and it's not even the type of time that he's on. When I'm outside with Parks, Parks is married, chilling his hip-hop shit, so I'm still the baddie. When I'm outside with Corey, he's only counting the Averex jackets to walk in the door. Uh, I guess when I'm outside with Eve, we both baddies, but in different, in different, you know, he's R&B baddie. I'm like, if you like your niggas with a little bit of smut and dirt. If you like your niggas. A little bit of, little bit of grit and grime on. Y'all have it. It's a community out there. If you like your niggas with a little bit of just bullshit on them, I'm your guy. You the man? I'm your guy. I mean, it just depends on what you like. Depends on what you like. A little dirty around the edges. Uh, walk around smelling his ass. Oh my. You clean uh, Oh, my God. Uh, Play the I don't fucking rock, I don't think that's your M.O. no more. It is, though. I'm just got the fingernails be all nice and clean. I don't oh, think yeah, that's your that MO no more. Well, yo. I never played that game. But no, I'm still cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. I just got money, so they deal with it. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, they're gonna deal with it. <laughs> if you guys <laughs> not even a lot. It ain't even take a whole lot to get it. <laughs> to get it. <laughs> <laughs> what you think about hey, that? Hey, hey, what you think about? Go away. What you think about that, big dog? Play the fucking drops. Uh, you ain't never punch up, right? <laughs> I'm gonna fuck you up. I'm asking. Huh? You said you never punch. I said that. don't. You did. What? That, that you, you, ain't you don't punch, punch up? up. I don't punch up. Nervous purpose. No. They punch down and I'm get up. you. Hmm? They come get you. Excuse the fuck out of me. I'm, that's a she compliment. Says she has. Ain't no up. 
What's up? What's hiding? Yeah, exactly. One? And yeah, who yeah. you guys were trying to say was up for me? Ciao, good night. So there's no man out here that you would be. We letting up. you get that off right now because yeah. you're a girl. Yeah. But okay. that was a. That's what you think. I I still can't get over the fact that's what you guys think is punching up for me. The way. JBP. <laughs> JBP. Where would we be without the JBP? New Joe Biden. <laughs>